Hello, hello, hello. So, so, uh, yeah. It turns out I had to do something. Um, well, I said I had to do something. Wait, hold on. Is this where we left off last time? Because, yes, yes, it is. Okay, then. That actually saved me a lot of time, I guess. Because I had to re randomize. I had to re randomize the. This, uh, the, the game. Because. I lost. Uh, I thought I lost the actual save file. So. Uh, but, yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I'm hoping we can actually catch this. Well, this is our first encounter. Please don't KO it. Oh, okay, okay. Is the uh is the sound a little bit low? Hold on. I don't know if that's low for me or just love the stream. Uh hold on. Oh that's not good. Whoa, um, okay. Let's just have a look at... Okay, that's... I don't know if that's too loud or... Do let me know if that is too loud. I will, uh... Well... Fuck. Uh, that's not a good. Uh, that's not a good start. I was not expecting it to chaos. To be quite honest. Oh, uh, that's a problem. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got the running shoes. We'll heal. We still got route one or two and one or three. So we'll skip this. We'll just skip those for now, actually. Because those are uh, makes it a little bit easier then. So this is one or three. Slack off. Okay. I mean, slack. Slack. If we do manage to get this slack off, then the slack. If we manage to get evolve it into a slacking. Um. This is a problem. I want to use the Razor Leaf, but I have a feeling using Razor Leaf will KO the actual Pokemon. But let's try it. Okay. So I was correct. That would. That would uh, KO it. So that's. This is not a good. <laughs> this is not a good start, at all. So we've KO'd both of the encounters so far. Let's see if we can actually catch this one. Uh, we have a Grimer. Level three though. Um. Hmm. So. See, this is the problem. I don't think I don't think I can. What's ingrain? Okay. But yeah, how's everybody's weekend going so far? Hold on a second. Let me just change. There we go. Um, yeah, how's everybody's weekend going so far? Hopefully everybody is having a good weekend. Uh, okay. Well, 
hopefully every uh, I can't even speak. Hopefully everybody is taking the time to relax. Ah, um, would Razor Leaf actually KO it? It shouldn't. No, good. Okay then. Um, problem is now though is I can't use another Razor Leaf because it will probably KO it. Um. Okay, I generally thought we'd call that then. Oh, no mind. Try again. If not, we'll have to either run or KO it, which, to be fair, we might as well KO it. Yep, we might, yeah, we might as well KO it. Not KO it. Yeah, we, we might as well, uh, we might as well defeat it because it's, it's more XP. So, but I have a feeling we might end up having to go to attempt nine or the next attempt. I mean, hello, Seabars, how are you? Hello, hello, hello. I hope you're well. How's your weekend going? How's your weekend going? Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. So I could have used a ra another razor leaf and I could have probably caught it as well. Okay, it could be a lot better. Oh, how come? If you don't mind me asking. I hope... I hope it gets better. Is all I can say. I hope it gets better. Obviously, without... Without... I, what's, what's the word? I don't want to pry, basically. I don't want to stick my nose in where it's not wanted. But without knowing anything, I hope it gets better. And uh, I hope you manage to enjoy the rest of your weekend. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I'm a little bit, um, disoriented, I'll be honest, because I ended up, so I ended up, uh, waking up a lot, a lot later than what I normally would. Uh, and normally when that happens, or when I sleep for longer than what I normally do, I just become really disoriented. Uh... No, it's okay. I can always DM you later. Only if you're only if you're comfortable with talking about it, see boss. Only, yeah. Only if you're com comfortable. Only if you're comfortable talking about it. If not, then don't worry about it. Honestly. But if you, if you ever do need to, if you ever do need to talk to somebody about anything, you know my DMs are always open. I don't mind. I mean, I mean to be fair, I kind of, I kind of messaged you on Discord out of the blue yesterday, <laughs> out of nowhere, which now I think back was, uh, it was definitely, how do I put it? It was definitely out of character for me, I guess, because normally I don't just randomly message people, I guess, or I try not to, because I always think I'm going to bug the person, so. Uh, but yeah, other than that, Seabass, how, uh, how was your, how was the rest of your stream yesterday? I, I lurked for the most part, but I think it was towards, I think it was about three quarters, was it three quarters? Yeah, about three quarters of the way, of, I can't even speak, about three quarters of the stream. I was there for around half, I lurked for about 25, and then I had to I had to go and get food and whatnot for the last remaining part. I was hoping to try and catch the end of your stream when I came back to my PC, uh, or my computer, and uh, yeah, I noticed you, <laughs> you read it out. I was like, oh, okay. Uh, it was good, saved every good one. Oh, nice, nice. 
Um, yeah. I don't know where to try Hollow Knight, honestly. What did I have? Um, I think I, I... What did I have? I can't even remember. Oh, I think I just had some toast, actually. <laughs> I don't really... Yeah, I, I, that's one thing. I, I don't really eat much, so uh, I recommend it. I see, I don't know, because I'm not really one for platformer games. The last... The last platformer game I had, or well, I, I played, that I can remember, was Mario. And that was like... Ooh... That, oof, um, I would probably guess at, I don't know, about 15 years ago, maybe. I, I feel old. I feel old. Actually, no, not 15. It'd be 16 now, actually. I feel old. <laughs> I definitely feel old, actually, now I mention it. Um, but, you know, I, I've never really been one for platformer games, but... Some of the platformer games now actually look really interesting to play. Um, there was one. <laughs> there, there was one that I really actually wanted to play, but it's a two-player game, and I've never really had... I've never really had anyone to actually play, like, two-player games with, uh, which is... Uh, Bre I think it's called Bread and Fred. I, I've, seen multiple people, I've seen multiple people play that game, and it looks really fun. The same with, um, what's the other one called? Uh, there's Bread and Fred, but then there's another one. It's not a platformer, but it's, uh, it's a two-player game, and that's, uh, I forgot what it's called. Um, well, there's a couple, actually. There's, where, we, uh, where is it called? We Were Here Together, I think it was called. Oh, excuse me. Um, uh, it's... It's like a puzzle solving game. I know that one. Um, then. Then there's the. Uh, is it. It takes. I think it's called it. It takes two as well. I know that one. Uh, that one seems like a really good game as well. Um. Actually, Seabus. So, I remember you mentioned. I remember you. I was the playing raft, and you mentioned that you're wanting to complete the game, complete the game again. A curious question, actually. How come you're playing raft solo, and you're not, and you're not playing it with other people? Uh, I haven't announced the EX in my situation, but I can technically do collabs, so I just can't stream it on my end. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, that's... Okay, yeah, I mean, that, yeah, I can I can understand why. Obviously, your uh, your laptop can only do... Your laptop... Uh, your, yeah, I can't even speak. <laughs> your laptop can only do so much. So... But... I mean, if if you ever want to play Raft with somebody, even just without streaming and just playing Raft as as normal, I I I'm always up for playing Raft. <laughs> I uh, I don't mind. I have Raft. I've never played Raft with other people though. I I played it a little bit. Where, um, well, I say a little bit. I think I played it for about five hours. I got hooked on just making things. <laughs> Hooked on making things, and that was about it, really. But like you mentioned on stream, that you played it with, uh, you played it basically on peaceful, and that's <laughs> that's basically what I did. I just played it on peaceful because I wanted to make a raft. I I'm more of the creative type, so I might take you up on that by all means. We can uh, we could always jump into a VC and just make a raft. Hold on a second. So, how come you wouldn't... I'm surprised I haven't died yet. 
be fair though, it doesn't really matter if you do die, I think you only lose a couple of things and then you spawn back on your raft, if I remember correctly. I I died a lot of times. In fact, no, not peaceful wise. Um, I've never played it with the shark. In fact, I was stuck on an island for like a whole hour. Oh, I remember you getting to the island. Um, but I think I might have either lurked or I might have been AFK when you was on the island. So I didn't. I I don't think I saw that section or that part. That's the problem I have with streams. I I I I'm I was I I love to lurk. So because I'm not, I can I obviously as as you know I I can sit and talk no problem. But when I remember to do something, I literally just get up and go and do it, and I don't even think <laughs> I don't even think twice. Um. So. I, I get up, go and do it, come back, and I, I real, I yeah, I realize I'm actually watching a stream and not a video because I'm used to watching, <laughs> I'm used to watching a video, so I'll pause it. But uh, I have to look sometimes because I have things to do. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm the exact same. I'm the exact same. Um, I mean, to be fair, it could be. We're just gonna skip all this. We've done this part too many times. Slack off. You have an Aerodactyl. Okay. Okay, so basically Wally's going to have a... Actually, no, I think Wally's Pokemon are... I think Wally, yeah, I think Wally's Pokemon are not same. I could be wrong. Um... But yeah, I... I so... Uh, I think the first... The first time I actually played Raft... I am pretty sure they wasn't a... I don't think they was a storyline. And then... I I didn't play it for a while. And then I just jumped... I kept jumping on it every now and then. Um, just to craft things and whatnot. And then when you mentioned that there was a storyline... I... I didn't know... So I always thought that there wasn't a storyline to start with. And then when I, I watched other people play it, and I watched other people actually complete the full game, it was a bit strange because I didn't realise there was an actual storyline to it. I always just thought it was a survival type game. I played the chapters as they came out. Yeah, I remember you mentioning that actually on the stream. Um, I remember that, I know that there's like, I think three or, is it like three or four boss battles? Or two, actually. I can't remember the, how many exactly, but... Uh, Ooh, let's see what our encounter is. Wow, that was quick. Um, a cloister. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, oh, I can't remember. <laughs> I, I can't remember what I was going to say. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I, I always thought it was a... Uh, I thought it was a survival... Just a survival game. But I know that was the... There's the guy that basically sets his two pet oh i'm a dumbass i just used the wrong move okay oh yeah super effective i'm a dumbass oh no wonder so that's four for four four for four that is uh yeah that is four for four encounters uh we've ko'd all four of them <laughs> um it all started as an itch I remember you mentioning that, yeah, I was that I was actually surprised at because when I played it, or when I started playing it, it was on Steam. So I don't know if when it went to Steam, I don't know if that's when it had chapters or not. Because if that's if that's the thing, then it must have just been me that when I started playing the game, I didn't realise that there was a, a storyline, so I must have just played it as a survival game and not done the not done the storyline. Um, it was supposed to be just a college project and it turned into something more. Well, I mean, they did a really good job with it. They did a really good job with it. Let's go, you are invincible. Um, I mean, it's not exactly a good thing. <laughs> oh, I could have got a shell gun. Oh, that's... 
that's kind of demoralizing i'll be honest i mean um well kind of unlucky actually not demoralizing <laughs> by choice of words um yeah Salamans is actually one of my favorite dragon's eye pokemon so that kind of sucks i mean i don't know it's a bit strange i have a bunch of favorites but oh well i have a bunch of favorite pokemon for each type but then i have i always have one that is at my my absolute favorite Well, the Pokemon, I, the Pokemon I do get eventually, uh, I am definitely going to, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to um, train them. But yeah, I've also seen some, I've also seen some builds for Raft. They're absolutely insane. So I remember you mentioning a tennis ball with legs. And it's ball with legs. Oh, the Pidgey. Oh, oh, you mean the shell gun. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, I'd probably more call it a softball, honestly. I think softballs are a little bit bigger, and I think I'm pretty sure softballs are white. Or like a... I don't know. I like the grey, I think. So this is another encounter. But... Oh, never mind. Oh. Okay. Um... It's still strange to see. It's still strange to see Pokemon such as Gardevoir and um, Gardevoir and and ones like Cloyster and Latios. Oh yeah, our first. I'm glad it didn't KO it. <laughs> our first encounter was a Latios, and I KO'd it. I KO'd it like a dumbass because I got a, crit a critical hit on the second. Um, yeah, on the second turn. If it wasn't a critical hit, I could have probably caught it, actually. That is if it didn't jump out with the Pokeball. Um, but yeah, some builds that I've seen for Raft, some of the Rafts, they are insane. Luster Perch, excuse me. What kind of move is that? I have never seen that move before. Um, but yeah, some of the builds are insane. Some are, some are five or six stories high. They've got they've got different things on each floor. They're basically a a a, a fortress on water, basically. Um, but. That would be definitely, that would be something fun to do eventually. When I actually, so I remember you mentioning it actually on stream, like you want to see how big you can build a raft. And that is actually something that went through my mind when I, when I played it as well. Um, I've got to be careful here, I don't get KO'd. But a guided ball with Luster Perch. And he just keeps spamming it as well. Who's... I want to have a look at that, actually. Give me two seconds. Whose special move is that? Because I have never seen that. Um, it's a psychic type move. Okay. It's like a... Introduced in Generation 3. Ah, it is a signature move of Latios. There we go, that's why. That is why. Oh, that's quite strange, actually, because uh, we KO'd Latios <laughs> as our first Pokemon. Uh, or our, infer our, our first encounter. Please? Yes! <laughs> Sweet. Okay, so now I just hope Gardevoir doesn't faint. What can we call... Oh, since you're here, Seabass, what do you... I'll, I'll give you the opportunity to name Gardevoir. What do you want to call it? Oh, it also one thing that I've just realised. So I always thought Gardevoirs were female because of the whole evolution typing thing. Because if you have a female Curlia, it evolves into a Gardevoir. If you have a male Gardevoir, uh, a male Curlia, and with a Dawnstone, you get a Galvard. So how come male Gardevoirs are a thing? I mean, nothing against it, but it's. 
I don't know. It, it just makes my head scratch because of the fact, uh, it just makes me scratch my head because of the fact that what's the point of the whole evolution typing thing? That's the thing. How, like, how, what is the point in the whole evolution type thing when you can get male guardables? It's a bit strange. And uh, yeah, this one's a male, actually. <laughs> now I mention it. Um, actually, see boss. I think we'll. Uh... Wait, hold on. I'm using the wrong keys. There we go. We'll call it sea boss. Hopefully, you don't faint. Um. Okay, actually, I want to have a look at your moves. Future sight. Wow, it's only got one offensive move then. Oh wait, no, it's got future sight, but uh wait, huh? Yeah, no, let's swap those. And then we've got Dragon Dance and Calm Mind. Okay, so another thing is all of the moves are randomized as well. They're 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 of roughly the same type, but they are randomized. Um, let's heal you. One thing that I'm not too sure about is how you spell Gardevoir. I'm hoping I spelled that right. Uh, let's have a look. No. Why do I always put a U in in there? Uh, no, actually, no, never mind. I'll spell it totally wrong. There we go. That's better. Wait, what? Wait, what is happening? I'm confused as hell. There we go. That's better. Uh, Gardevoir uses Draco Meteor. It's super effective. <laughs> uh, I mean, to be fair, um, to be fair though, Gardevoir is technically a psychic fairy type, but in Generation Three, fairy types weren't a th wasn't a thing, or yeah, were not a thing. I mean. So we have we have this we have well actually no we have root one one six we have actually yeah we'll we'll switch because then we can switch back to ten we can yeah we can switch back to ten if need be let's see what Seabass can do. I'm hoping, actually, uh, level three, uh, I don't want you to get KO'd, so, actually, you shouldn't get KO'd, but Lust of Purge should be fine. Wow. Wow. Um. Okay. Oh, in fact, fuck your psychic type. Shoot. Um. What's the purge? I don't think that'll do much though. Oh, apologies about the. Uh, I don't do much. Please don't. Oh. Okay. Okay. We are switching. <laughs> we are definitely switching. Welcome back. I uh, I apologize about the ads. I didn't realize. Um, but yeah, I definitely didn't want to lose. I'm like a god. I mean, you did KO Medicham, which I was actually really surprised at. I wasn't expecting the uh, the whole one hit KO. Oh, you leveled up to level six too. Skill swap. Skill swap. Use the sort of special abilities with the target. Um, 
No. I don't really... Yeah, I don't think that'll be actually quite that useful. Steelix. Um, steel rock type, I think. Or just steel type. Uh, yeah, unfortunately we can't really do anything. We don't have any fairy type moves or anything like that, so... What was it? Or was it Gen... Was it Gen 3? Actually, no, we'll just... Yeah, we'll just switch back. So, the one thing I need to do is try and get a decent... Or another decent move for Gardevoir. Or Seabass, even. Uh, can we just spam Razor Leaf? I don't think Razor Leaf will actually do much, but... Okay, never mind. Never mind. Ignore what I just said. I know what I just said. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping, I am hoping we can find a XP, maybe an XP share. I don't think we can get an XP all in this. So if we can get an XP share, then uh, we could basically just practically power level, power, power level CBOS, which is all good. Um, but one thing I do need to do is make sure we are of the correct level. A potion, okay. Um, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's switch, switch you two, because then what I'm going to do is every time, we'll skip this. There we go. Um... So we'll we'll send out C boss and then we'll switch for ten because then C boss gets XP. And then once you're probably around I don't know, I would say about level ten ish, maybe a little bit higher. Uh you should be able to battle somewhat yourself. Um we just need a, a decent We just need a decent move that has a decent amount of uh of uh pp pp i forgot what the actual uh i forgot the actual uh what do you call it what the actual acronym an acronym jesus what the actual yeah what the actual letters stand for even um but yeah uh talk about the the rough and everything see boss uh Power points, that's the one. I forgot what PP actually stands for. It's actually power points. Interesting. Um Yeah, talking about raft. You could literally make like a a floating I don't know, a floating like mansion or a floating um what's the one? Like a floating practically a hotel if you really wanted to. <laughs> uh I do know you can get different well, from what I've seen, you can get different, uh, what they're called, like different, um, animals. Pretty sure you can get, um, you can get, like, birds, like, eggs. Oh, well, you, you can get birds, you just hatch the eggs and whatnot. Um, you can get... Oh, what's the other one? You get eggs, um... You can get goats as well, I think. I've seen somebody who before have goats. Uh not sure how you get those. Um I know you can get pineapple there's not pineapple trees. You can get uh what are they called? Coconuts, coconut trees. I remember that because I used I I ended up somehow getting coconut trees. Eh, not coconut trees. Was it coconut trees? Yeah, coconut trees. I remember having coconut trees. But I also remember having flowers. I remember getting a lot of flowers for dyes and stuff, but I just never really used them. I remember those. Not sure. I'm not sure what you actually what you actually use them for, exactly. Um, 
I'm guessing it was obviously the obvious coloring, col coloring things. A togepi. Okay. Hmm. Oh damn, I just realized something. So, so far, we've attempted this eight times. The furthest we've ever got, or yeah, the, first, the furthest we've ever gotten is to Flannery, which Flannery is the fourth gym member or gym leader even um we are, we've actually gotten to we've actually gotten to flannery twice we we failed on we we lost against flannery twice um so the starter Pokemon that we that we chose uh, attempt one was Aerodactyl uh, attempt two was attempt two was Raichu attempt three was Raichu uh, attempt four was a Fanfear uh, attempt five was septile. Uh, attempt six was tyranitar. Attempt seven was septile. And then uh, attempt eight is reptile, which we are currently on attempt number eight. Speed that up a little bit. Do that. Uh, uh, na, na, a nanab berry. Okay. Fresh water. I think there's a third item around here. I think is is it this one? Or that? One? Okay. Uh, I do have a bit of a problem with this actually because. We need to run. A repel. Okay. I think that was the item that I mentioned. Yeah. So. The problem that we have now. Is we have. Two single. Trainer battles. And. We have. One double battle. So if we're not if we are if we are not careful, we could lose Gardevoir. Or we could lose Seabass, unfortunately. Um it all depends on the Pokemon though, to be honest. Growlith. Fuck. Uh As much as I don't want to switch to 10, I'm going to have to. Oh, you are fu- Please survive. Oh, and it's burn. Fuck. The real question is, how do we... Oh, that's brilliant, actually. We'll use that. Please don't use play for oh, for fuck's sake. Uh actually that is not as much as what I thought it would be. So let's raise the leaf. I should have used ingrain actually. Yeah, I should have used ingrain. Right, okay. So we're going to have to go back to... Sweet. Yeah. We're going to have to go back to... Um... What do you call it?
We have to go back to the Pokemon Center. And then we're going to have to so speed through this and then we need to go to the Pokemon market or Pokemon. We need to buy some potions. I think. Yeah. Uh yeah, why not actually? We'll buy seven of those. How many nope? How many Pokeballs do we have? Eight. Hmm. Polywag. Okay. So we could have caught a Polywag. See, the one problem with Gardevoir, well, with uh, with Seabass as well, is Seabass only has one... Uh, one more offensive type move, I guess. And not defense. Well... Yeah. Has defensive moves, but only has one or uh, offensive move, I think. Or offensive move. Which is the oh well no, there's technically two. Because there's what's it called? Sight of the, the future is it future sight, I think. But that's more of a use and then turn turn burst, I think it's called. One thing I keep forgetting is you have to click again when, uh, oh god. How many Pokemon do you have? Two. Lombre. Uh... We'll switch to ten. Because I'm pretty sure Lombre is water slash grass type hydro pump. Yeah, that does nothing. Uh, Resolve. Ooh, level eight. Again, yeah, nah. Weedle. Uh, yes, actually, we'll change to Seabass and we'll use, we'll use one of Seabass's, one of Seabass's moves, shall we? They forgot to add the zero because I'm actually level eight. I mean, if if we could catch the level eight, what the hell? Okay, if we um, uh, okay, so wow. Oh, the game crashed. I think. Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I think the game crashed. I actually do think the game crashed. Yep, it crashed. Oh, I didn't even save. Oh, that's... that's... Hello, Kizu. Hello, hello, hello. And uh, you come at the perfect time. 
The game just crashed. Oh. Oh. There we go. Nearly. Uh, oh, for fuck. Not again. Yeah, the game just crashed, so... What? There we go. Oh yeah, how are you, Kizu? I hope you're well. So... Let's start from... Start from the beginning. Huh? Um... Why are you looking in a mirror? Looking in a mirror. Unfortunately, since that was a dupe, we have to... Uh... Yeah, since this is a dupe, we uh, basically re-roll. Ah, uh, um... Okay. I mean, if we evolve into a Butterfree... Not too bad, but unfortunately, I don't want. This is the problem. I don't want to KO it. The last one we ended up KOing. So, in fact, the last time we KO'd four. Uh, actually, no. We KO'd three. Three. Yeah, we KO'd three. But yeah, how are you, Kizu? I hope everything's well. I hope you, uh,. I hope you've been looking after yourself. I know you've been uh, very busy. Hmm? How is that butterflies? Hold on a second. Ah, uh, that is one move I actually hate within Pokemon is Swagger. One, because of the name. Why would anyone call a name Swagger? Two, the fact that it gives you confusion. I'm here to put you... I'm here to put you in your place, so... Yeah, I'd like to see a try, Kizu. I'd like to see a try. Physics shouldn't let that happen. <laughs> so you can put the gun down. <laughs> oh, I'm confused. How is that butterflies? Here, use my knife instead. That still doesn't help, Seabus. Hmm, what do we call the Caterpie? Do we call the Caterpie Seabus? I'll make you bend the knee. Mm -hmm. Nope. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Good luck with that. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to call this, actually. What do we call the Caterpie? By all means, should... F yeah, <laughs> if anybody's got a name for Caterpie, uh, is that a challenge? Yes, Gizu, yes it is. Because I know for a fact it's a challenge you're going to lose. Um. Hmm. We will see. We will see. <laughs> oh yes. Okay. 
We will. We will see. Would we'll call it Mari. Mari. Mm. I don't know why, but I've heard of that name before. And I don't know where from. But yeah. Why not? Mario's Ma hold on what? Mario Posa. I have no idea what that word even means. I've never heard of that name before. I've heard of the actual so I've heard of some being someone's name being Mario. Spanish for butterfly. Really? Okay. I that huh, that's weird. I studied Spanish. Uh, well, I say I studied Spanish, <laughs> not really, but kind of. Um, I learned Sp I learned a little bit of Spanish back in school, um, but I never learned that. That's an interesting one. So, hold on a second. There we go. But yeah, I know I never knew that, actually. Um, there's only a certain couple of words I still remember though. From Spanish. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, we could have called that yours. Damn it. No. Oh, by the way, Kizu, that reminds me. So I managed to get the. Talk about Warframe. I managed to get the. The Paris Prime string. Was it string? Yeah, the string. Uh, now I just need the... Oh, what do you call it? Now I just need the grip. Yeah, I've been... Uh, <laughs> I've been kind of grinding. On uh, on Warframe. Okay. Uh, we... Do we have a potion? Yes, we do. Is there any, yeah, is there any other prime pieces that you actually need? I know there was one that you mentioned. Um, oh, there's actually, wait, hold on, what? There's an animation for that, uh, for that move. I always, yeah, uh, huh? I always use that move in Leaf Green, so there wasn't an animation for it from what I can remember. Um, but yeah, I, I remember you mentioning that you only needed one, one piece of prime equipment or gear uh, on Warframe. Did you actually? Did you actually manage to get that piece? I uh, I forgot to ask you beforehand, or before I mean. Uh, okay, so we don't have any potions. Uh, what is our team looking like? We have a level 3 cuts bee, which questionable, but uh, hold on. Prevents added effects. Okay. That might be useful. Uh, we have swagger and signal beam. That's a very strange combination for moves. A very strange combination. Well, we'll heal up. We'll skip this. There we go. Oh, um, yeah, I, I, I really, I really felt bad for Lucero earlier, bless him. I, I can tell you, you, I can tell Lucero really wanted to do the, uh, the smash up house. And, uh, potions, yeah, and, uh. Yeah. Um, okay, so we've got two. But yeah, I I didn't know. I also didn't know Ragnia, Ragnia, Ragna. I keep, I'm sure I'm pronouncing Ragnia's name wrong. But yeah, I didn't know Ragnia. 
uh, why I, I keep wanting to pronounce it and it's I, I keep feeling like I'm pronouncing it wrong. Um, Ragnar, is it Ragnar? Ragnar, 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 Ragnar. Um, yeah, I didn't, well, they... I'm losing words. <laughs> My brain's just gone to mush. Um, yeah, I didn't, well, they... They included themselves into the, uh, Smash Off Alice. Actually, I'm surprised you didn't, Keys, to be honest. I thought you would have. Uh, signal beam? <laughs> oh. Okay. Ragnia. Right. Okay. Okay. I don't know. It's, that's how he says it. Okay. Rag Ragnia. Right. I, I was trying to remember that. It's just like every time I pronounce... Every time I pronounce it, I feel like I'm pronouncing it wrong. You did. I wonder if I missed it because I didn't I didn't see the first I got bed breaking. Why does that not surprise me? <laughs> Why does that not surprise me? But was it towards the was it towards the start of the stream? Because if it was, I I think I missed the first probably 30 40 minutes of the stream so i i i possibly missed yours because after that i i was there for the rest of it as you kind of gather i guess um not gonna lie um yeah not gonna lie though i was in the beginning ah that's why i missed i missed it like second or third. Yeah, there we go. Oof. Ooh. <laughs> um yeah, I that's that'll be why then. I definitely missed it. Uh let's hold on. Wait. Um Actually. No, wait. Uh, I clicked the wrong thing. I was supposed to heal first, but never mind. Hopefully it doesn't break out. Sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it, to be fair, watching that, watching Lucero's Smash Up Pass, it really made me want to try and get a, a PNG. Um, I mean, I do have... I do have something in the works, so to speak, um, which I don't want to mention on stream, but it is the thing that I mentioned to you before, Kizu, um, that is currently actually being worked on. So, question for you, if your Pokemon fails, can you go back to a previous route and catch your Pokemon? Nope. Nope. Uh, right, so I don't know what to name Nidorina. No, so basically, if you're Pokemon fans, you want to, you want to be smashed up, asshole. <laughs> it's not as it's, uh, it's not exactly as that either. It's more of also kind of, kind of. It's it's also kind of see what people would like about the PNG. Rip, yeah, kind of. Um, Mainly things that other people, because obviously Queenie, yeah, sure. It, it sounds a lot better than the nicknames I give them, so. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's, it's like, it's, it's good to see, it's good to hear different people's opinions on what they like the most. I'd smash it so if you want. <laughs> Is that an offer or a threat? Keys will work up until there's violence. <laughs> Literally, it did just wake up. Ah. Uh... 
So that was route 103. Um, no, that's not good read on that. Pause. Could be both. <laughs> Yeah, don't worry, see boss. If we can get that reminds me actually, if we can get a another Guardiwall, then I'll rename the Guardiwall C boss again. Uh I'm just trying to think of right, so let's check out the moves first. I kinda want to hold on, what the fuck? Huh? Why? Okay, so I, I do have random moves on, but they should be of the same type. So I don't know why that... How do we use set up a randomizer? Um, well, normally you just... Um, okay, uh, how do I... <laughs> how do I not go the long way around with this? Because... So you have to get a... What's called a visual by advance, which is an emulator. Um, there is a couple of other ones, but I use Visual by Advance VBA mainly because I've used it for years, and you don't, you can play any game by games on it as well. Um, then you get a normal save file, uh, which you can download off the internet, and then you can use something called the randomizer software to randomize it. Uh, which, to be, to be honest, I've only just been, I've only only recently been using this randomizer software and it works it yeah um yeah it, it works it works like a dream honestly um but this is the first time i'm actually well kind of it's the first it's the first time i'm actually playing a randomizer it's the first time i'm actually playing a nuzlocke and it's also the first time I'm using the software as well. But it is fairly easy to actually set up, honestly. Um, you only need to download two, maybe three things, depending on how you want to go around things, well, how you want to do it. Uh, but you can actually also play other games as well. Um, different versions of Pokemon. Uh, you could also play... Not on this one, but you could also play, you could also download another emulator, which, uh, which plays Nintendo DS games, I believe. So you could play like Pokemon Diamond, Pokemon Pearl, Pokemon, uh, Platinum, those kind of things. Uh, hold on, so, right, so we've checked your moves, we know all yours, we'll quickly save actually. There we go. Um, oh, we have another... I just remember, we have another uh, encounter here. Ah. Okay. So, Bug and... Bug and Rockside. I think. Yeah. Um... Excuse me? What? Huh? I wasn't expecting that to one hit KO. Uh, um, Razor Leaf, I think. Uh, oh, for fuck. Uh, God damn it. That's annoying. Um, uh, Amaldo? I mean, to be fair, though, two out of the first... Two out of the first three is good. Right, so now... So, since Caterpie's fainted, we have to put Caterpie in the PC, and we have to move on. 
now we have to go to uh what what's the one i forgot the name of the uh the town Pet is it petalburg or petalburg yeah petalburg uh so rename this to fainted and then we'll just put all the fainted pokemon in here uh Unironically, unironically this seems fun honestly it is it it i mean i played pokemon for at least the past 12 years maybe maybe long actually no longer i think i played pokemon since i was wow i don't want to say that but i i, I played pokemon since i was around 10 11 years old so 16 17 years um i first started with pokemon gold pokemon gold pokemon leaf green were my first uh then pokemon emerald as well well technically not pokemon ruby uh pokemon ruby sapphire emerald were my other ones after that uh but it's it's still fun honestly i mean even after 16 17 years of playing pokemon doing challenges like this make it really fun if this if this was any other game i would have probably been burnt out by now and i would have probably just played something else i'll be quite honest um but because it is pokemon and because it's a randomizer it makes it more fun because everything's randomized you you can't predict anything please don't Oh, that was close. I'm definitely going to switch out. Um, might do or oh, I might do one. Why not? I mean, it's it is always something to do. Plus, with you having a obviously, you have a, a lot bigger for a, a lot bigger of a community than I do. I mean, okay, I'll rephrase like you have a community. I don't really have one. Um, it'll be a lot easier for you to rename Pokemon um plus if you ever struggle with anything you can obviously all you can always ask chat as well um i mean the same with names you have a lot of people that you could probably name pokemon after as well um i'll start in wonder then Ooh, i'm looking forward to it which uh which pokemon game are you thinking of randomizing um if need be i will i yeah, if, if need be, I will um, I will try and find the websites that I downloaded the ones off. Post sure going live in my Discord. Hmm? Hold on, what? So you, honestly, I thank you. Um, I keep forgetting. <laughs> I I keep forgetting to post that I go live. I think it's Gen Gen Five. Wait, Gen Gen Five. Gen Five is isn't Gen Five black and white actually? That that is possible. I have seen somebody do a Gen Five uh, a Gen Five. I have seen somebody do a um a black and white. Is it, wait, is it black? Is it actually black and white? He's just, he's just, uh, now, now you're making me question myself. Uh, Pokemon Gen 5. Yeah, Pokemon Black and White. I thought so. Yeah, I've seen somebody do a uh, Nuzlocke of Black and White. Um, That was actually one of the ideas. Well, that was one of the things that gave me the idea to do a Nuzlocke in the first place. Because I saw somebody do, um, I saw somebody do a, a Nuzlocke of, of, oh, what do you call it, of Platinum, I think it was Platinum, um, Platinum and, oh, was, was it Platinum? No, it was, uh, it was Gen 3 actually, it was Emerald, um, Emerald and uh, and black and white. I can't remember which one it was though. I think it was just. I think it was white actually. 
you love gem 5 music so this is going to be quite strange so when i grew up playing pokemon i didn't play pokemon with the sound on i i think i did it once or twice and then because i thought it was too loud for people to hear i would turn it down and then that was it i always played with the music off unfortunately um but i i kind of do know i mean I, I wouldn't say i know all of them but there is some iconic ones from pokemon that most people practically know anyway so um what yes i know growing up i played when i was younger i played pokemon without the sound <laughs> for the okay i played it for the i played it without music for the most part well yeah like i mentioned for the most part um okay so we need to use another potion on queenie hopefully we don't lose queenie in fact wasn't if i remember correctly kizu wasn't it you that mentioned that you liked the music from a kirby game as well i remember you mentioning it actually it was when we it was actually not long after we first in got introduced i guess or first met i guess i don't know <laughs> i don't know if you want to call it that but uh yeah because i remember you mentioning it and i heard i remember hearing the name before but i never actually heard the music so i went on to youtube and actually listened to the music and i could understand why you actually like it why does that attack always miss i used to have a look at the accuracy accuracy la, 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 la. i need to look at the accuracy Fuck. <laughs> i need to look at the accuracy accuracy oh i've said a word too many times and it just feels wrong to say it's weird um yeah oh my god it actually hit wow wait hold on oh, okay never mind i thought that was a any <laughs> i thought that was an encounter Oof. Um, oh, I'm pressing the wrong... Okay. Yeah, that's not a problem, actually. Zap cannon has low accuracy. Accuracy. Jesus Christ, I can't say words anymore. God damn it. Um, yeah, I kind of figured that one, actually. Um, I, <laughs> I didn't know that. And then I just remembered. Zap cannon is the... I kind of iconic move that uh, Zapdos has if I remember correctly but for some strange reason in Leaf Green or Fire Red um, Zapdos could somehow always hit you with Zap Cannon so um, just use, po use Poison sting that was loud i heard nothing but fireworks unfortunately sweet son uh, uh kind of pointless um but yeah if you ever like i mentioned kizu if you ever need help with setting uh yeah with setting anything up i guess just let me know as in the if you are wanting to do the uh the nuzlocke or the just the pokemon playthrough in general i mean you could all we could always play i mean i don't know if you have them but you could always play the newer games as well so scarlet and violet you could always play those i mean so Obviously, you like playing with, you like playing with others, so friends, community, 
um, and whatnot, which is obviously what I've noticed. Um, with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, you could do raids as well, if you wanted to include your friends or community as well. That kind of thing. But yeah, also... Um... Ooh, Vital Throw. Okay, I uh, will remove Iron Defense. Um... Uh... I don't, hmm. I kind of want to ask, but I don't want to ask at the same time. Um, about the whole, when I, <laughs> so when, when I mentioned about the, the, the voice acting career with, uh, with Sucker for Love, <laughs> uh, but then you mentioned something about, uh, covers and things. Masquerade. So, a bit of a strange, strange one about this. Um, Masquerade is actually my favorite Gen, my favorite Gen three bug type. I don't know why, because I don't really use it either, which is the weird thing about it, actually. But then again, a lot of my favorite Pokemon, a lot of my favorite Pokemon, I don't actually use. And uh, what the hell is Aeroblast? I've never seen. Uh, Aeroblast? Is... Damage to your including Generation 2 is a signature move of Lugia. That's why. Le is it Leonard? Leonard Milton? Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're having a good day. How are you? Uh, give me a sec. Thank you, Gabajo. Yeah, no problem, Kizu. Lunaton. Uh, psychic type, I remember, I think. Is it Rock and Psychic? I know that is, I think that is dual type. Because I remember Lunaton and Soul Rock. I'm pretty sure they both had the same type, but they had a different dual type. Or a different second type, I guess. Thoughts on Cynthia. Um... Huh? <laughs> um, um, everyone's worst nightmare as a kid, <laughs> or as a or as a young, yeah, or as a young person, I guess. Um, but if you're if if you're probably thinking or you're probably asking the question that I'm thinking but I, I didn't I don't know I didn't I didn't see Cynthia that way like most people apparently did okay so we've got level 10 level 11 okay but I do admit the uh, the team that Cynthia had in was it Generation 3 and Generation 4? Was it 4 as well? It, actually, yeah, it was Gen 3, wasn't it? Because Cynthia was... In fact, no, it wasn't Cynthia. It was Wallace and then Steven, I think. And then, was it Cynthia Gen 4? Yeah, I think. But Cynthia's team was... It was an actual... Uh, an absolute nightmare, to be quite honest. We'll just skip through all this. I've just got to remember to save because last time, last time we ended up, uh, the game ended up crashing, unfortunately. Um, let's 
skip through this. And then this is 104, so this is our next encounter. No. Oh. So, thing is, um, if we actually catch Articuno, I already have a name. I kind of made a... <laughs> Kind of made a promise to uh, to name Ascuno after a friend of mine, so... Oh fuck, I even poisoned it. God damn it. Uh, Zap Cannon is a good move though. Yeah, true, it is definitely a good move, Seabass, but... Uh, unfortunately, with the accuracy, uh, it kind of levels it out. It's a, it's a good move, bad accuracy, so it's, a, it's an okay move. Please work. Oh god damn it. <laughs> Uh, so now we just need to spam Pokeballs. I'm hoping we can actually catch Azkuno because, uh... One, it'll be our first... It'll be our first Legendary we caught since... Uh, since the second attempt, actually. Because on the second attempt, we ended up catching Zapdos, but... That was the attempt where, well, that was the first attempt. Um, yeah, that was the first attempt against, oh, against Flannery that we lost. Ease, and it's dead. Fuck. Uh... Uh, hurt by poison. There we go. Well, worth a try. <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh, nope. Please don't be another ice corner. Oh. <laughs> uh, I was waiting for it just to be another ice corner, just to basically rub it in our faces so that we just lost it. Have you tried holding the ball shut? It might work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, it's actually quite funny you mentioned that. I'm not gonna lie. Um, that is actually something I thought when I watched the anime, um, and Ash couldn't catch a certain Pokemon. I can't remember which one it was. But he ended up using like two or three Pokeballs, trying to catch this one Pokemon. I can't... Um, which one was it? And it just wouldn't... It just wouldn't stay in the Pokeball. But I see your sarcasm is on point, as usual, Seabus. <laughs> uh, that made me laugh, actually. <laughs> Might work. Yeah, let's just super glue the ball shut. Why not? It's be fair though. That'll be pointless anyway. The Pokemon to break out. Oh, that was an easy one thousand four hundred Poké dollars. Oh, it was one thousand four hundred. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> sarcasm is a super <laughs> sarcasm is a superpower. Um, I was going to say unless you're a not, unless you're a, unless you're English, uh, English, not English, unless you're British, then it's more of a um, what do you call it? It's more of a what do you call it? It's a. It's more of a, um, yeah, it's, it's more of a genetic, I guess, if you want to call it that. Welcome, yeah, welcome back, Kizu. And you don't have to apologize, you know that. <laughs> to be fair, it's like, <laughs> never mind, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I, I was going to bring up what I said to, uh, Really, what I said to Twisted the other day about apologising, that's, that's boss manager. <laughs> uh, hold on, what's the... 
Oh, okay. Both level, both level weapons. Ugh. But yeah, C boss. Um, I forgot to mention this actually. So when we spoke about the raft, there is. So you need. I think I don't know if you remember this, but you need iron to fortify. Signs you are a bottom number one apologizing. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't remember. Um, yeah, so the on raft, if you collect iron, I think they're called iron scraps or something like that. Um, you can fortify the raft pieces so the shark will not actually bite them and then rip them off. I think that's the only, that's probably the only one of the things, that's probably one of the only things I remember about raft. It, it, so, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> that, that still made me laugh actually. Signs you are a bottom. <laughs> Apologising. I mean, not always. Actually, I don't know. Because... It... I guess it's kind of hard to explain because you could be... Brutes. Yes, brutes. Fish are friends, not food. Uh, I will get revenge for every piece of boat you see. <laughs> you can kill the shark as well because you get a shark head. Steelix. Yeah, you get a shark head as well, which I've seen that before. Uh, you get the, you get a shark head and you can get something else. I forgot what it's called, but you can kill another. You can kill another animal apparently, and you can get its head and wear it. I need it. It's kind of cool. It's it's it's, it's, it's big. Signs you're. Signs you are a bottom too. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, as um, <laughs> wow. Um, see, the thing is, though, you <laughs> possibly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you basically just backed him into a wall there, Kizu. Um, okay, so that one backed him into backed him into a wall. I mean, backed him into a corner. What the hell? <laughs> I can't even speak. I can't even speak properly. Um. I forgot what I was going to say, actually. Wait, huh? Why am I... Yeah, no, because... So, if we're actually going to talk about this, then... The thing is, you could have... So, you could be a... This is going to sound strange, but you could be a... You could be a top, but you could lack the social skills. So you might lack social skills and think everything that you do is wrong and apologize for it. it doesn't make you a bottom. And I just realized, ad break. Apologies for the ad, for the ads. I didn't even realize I went on. I went on speaking about something. <laughs> softball. Can I kick it? Uh, I don't think that's how softball works. To be fair, Kizu. Um, you were asking me a question about the voice acting. Yeah. Are you actually going to? So are you? Are you actually going to go into voice acting? Is it something that you? Um. Yeah. Is it something that you see yourself doing? Or I mean, we don't have to speak. Obviously, we don't have to speak about this on stream. 
we can we can hop in a call one time one time oh sometime i mean and uh and speak about it if you really want to i don't mind um but yeah it's not the first thing i think of i don't have a large voice a large voice range yes but you have a very unique voice kizu she was having voice issues okay i mean that's definitely understandable but you have de you definitely have a, a very unique voice and some to be fair some people some people some companies do look for unique voices and you're welcome with practice maybe i could i definitely i mean not the practice thing but i, I definitely think you could you d you definitely could uh voice act i mean wait what poison fan poison oh i thought that was poison sting i was using okay um but no you you definitely could kizu i mean look a sucker for love i mean you might have only been you might have only been messing around with friends so to speak and just voicing over a a a visual novel but you still you, you still did it and did a really good job um i do want to get into the music scene though at some point i'm talking with someone about doing some audio work for me then i can launch kizu covers okay kizu kizu covers that, that's that's good <laughs> that is good i i only just realized yeah you can swap the c for a k that's awesome um that is great uh but yeah i'm really i'm i hope you i hope you really do get into it i really hope you do um i th i think you'll smash it to be honest i think i think you'll do amazing um yeah i see i love listening to music i mean lots of different uh provided the job that i am looking at gets back to me i'll be able to start working on that but wow <laughs> wow that's uh so i can do christmas music awesome that that is actually really great to hear to be honest um talking about music i i've always loved listening to music ever since i was young um i kind of like music from all different genres there is a couple of genres I don't listen to whatsoever. They don't really just... In, I I don't... What do you call it? I, I I don't have anything against them. It's just not something I would... I I just wouldn't... Uh, I just wouldn't listen to them. The main ones are... Country, opera. I wouldn't listen to those. I have nothing against them. Just wouldn't listen to them. They're not my kind of music. Uh, I grew up listening to... A lot of... I don't know, a lot of different genres, I guess. Pop, hip hop, uh, rock, metal, EDM, techno. <laughs> There's a lot, trance, maybe. Um, I don't really have a favorite. I don't know, I don't really have favorite genres. I used to, but now I don't. I just listen to. I don't know, I just listen to things. <laughs> just listen to music, I guess. Uh, I have a plan to do the cover of Santa Bay with some spicy Arabic and Bob. Ah. <laughs> There's always a catch. And the catch is the, uh, the artwork. But yeah, no, I, I think you will, uh, I think you will do great. Oh, hmm. So, uh, I do apologize, Seabus. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the guard war. I just realized because we ended up getting the, uh, well, we ended up getting the Nido run, but we uh, we didn't unfortunately catch it. We'll name something else after you, see, boss. Don't worry. Hopefully, it's not. A <clears throat> I was going to say, hopefully, it's not a fee bass. We named the fee bass sea bass. I mean, it would be quite ironic, but it'd be an absolute nightmare to try and evolve it. And do it. I can, unfortunately, I'd love to, um, but unfortunately, I can't. <laughs> Uh, I'd actually love to evolve it at some point, but so you can turn it into a beautiful Milotic. Fair point. Very fair point. It is a bit strange when you hear the the lore behind most of the Pokemon. So Milotic is classed as, as the most beautiful Pokemon in the Pokemon world, I guess you want to call it that. 
and then there's a lot of uh, a lot of other Pokemon stories as well. But I, re I remember playing Pokemon, or the, the third generation, I guess, for the first time. And I remember the first time I actually saw a Milotic. <laughs> I, that's a cool Pokemon. I want to get a Milotic. And uh, yeah, then I found out how you actually get one. And I never could, unfortunately. Not until I discovered what trading was. And then... I couldn't trade with anyone, so I, I, uh, I had to try and trade with myself, if I could. Togepi, yeah. Every time I see a Togepi, it always reminds me of the one from, uh, the one that Misty had. In fact, did Togepi ever evolve? I just remembered. Did Togepi ever evolve in the anime series? I can't... Yes. Huh. See, I, I watched... To Trajectic and Togekiss. Ah, I know... See, I, I know of the... Evol I know of the... Yeah, I mean in general, yeah. I, I know the I know of the uh, evolutions. Um, I just didn't know if it actually... I didn't know if it actually evolved. Uh, Misty's Evolved during Gen 3 anime. See, this is the thing. I need to just binge watch Pokemon because... I watched the I watched the first season um I forgot what it's called <laughs> I watched the first season then I watched Orange Islands then I skipped about four or five seasons uh, four or five generations I used no just just no <laughs> nope um nope not happening we already tried catching one of you. We can't. Ca we can't catch one here anywhere, because this is technically still classes one or four. Um, yeah, I ended up jumping a couple of generations from Orange Islands to Sun and Moon. I think it was. I ended up going to Sun and Moon, watch Sun and Moon, then Sun and Moon Adventures, and then I've not watched anything else either. I need to, so one thing I really want to actually get set up is a camera, is a not a camera camera, not a face camera. But that's one thing I will never do. I will never show my face on on, uh, on stream. I it's, it, it's something I was I would never be comfortable with, never. Um, but I kind of want to set up a hand cam, so I can unbox some Pokemon cards because I have. <laughs> I have some Pokemon, um, I have some Pokemon boxes that we could unbox on stream. That is something I've always wanted to do as well. But I don't have the, I don't have the camera set up to actually do that. I mean, I probably, hmm, I probably could. But unfortunately the camera would be only would be only for say uh, yeah would only be for unboxing Pokemon cards unfortunately um I don't think there'd be anything else that I would that I would probably use it for um oh nice Unfortunately, I believe Queenie doesn't evolve. Oh, we need a um, we need a Moonstone. I just remembered. Um, but yeah, it's definitely something I I want to work on. I mean, I I was wanting to actually try and do it through a webcam, um, and I I actually bought a webcam to try and get everything set up and whatnot. But unfortunately, I don't think the quality of the webcam would make it easier, I guess, if, you don't, if that makes any sense. Plus, you can't zoom out with the... From what I know of, you can't zoom out with the webcam. Um, because of the... Because of the tripod that I actually bought for it. The tripod is fairly short. So, I, I probably wouldn't have any... Uh, what 
recall, I probably wouldn't have any um, any room and whatnot on my desk. Uh, hmm. I mean, hmm. I don't know. There is actually, <laughs> there's also something else I'm look actually looking at. Get, I kind of speak looking at getting in uh in the future at some point and tyrogue tyrogue is the fighting type pokemon that evolves into hitmontop hitmonlee or hitmonchan yeah and i actually only just saw tyrogue uh, no the first time i actually saw tyrogue uh that i can remember actually was in the mystery dungeon series because it was a quite a common book to come across I remember that. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I can't remember if there's anything else that I need to mention. Oh. Um, yeah. Kizu, actually. If you're still in chat, that is. Do you have anyone that you could recommend? for um i forgot what you call them stream stream over this that's the one could you do you have anyone that's uh that you would recommend because the last thing i'm going to do is <laughs> the last thing i'm going to do is post on uh, on twitter about it All right so this is the this is the double battle. So then after this, we then need to go to... Um, what's the question? Uh, do you do you have anybody... Do you have any... I can't even speak. I apologize. Um, do you have anyone that you would recommend for stream overlays? It's just, it's just so I can, I can keep an eye out, I guess, in the future, um, because I want to, I, I'll be honest, I can't really afford it at the moment, um, but one thing that I really do want to do is get everything redone, recustomized. um, yeah, basically I want everything customized because the, everything that I am currently using at the moment is a pre- it's a pre-bought, uh, not pre-bought, it's a pre-made pre uh, stream mobile set. And I just kind of want everything custom, everything that ties in with uh, the PNG slash VTuber model, that kind of thing. Well, for now, the PNG. Uh, that's my first step, the PNG. Um, and then sometime in the future, hopefully it'll be a, a VTuber model as well, but... That's another thing I'm going to have to work around as well. Um, I can try and keep an eye out on artists. Um, I mean, yeah, uh, please, I guess. Um, <laughs> if that, that's if it's not too too much of a hassle, to boss, if you don't mind. Um, I don't know. The, the, the main problem I have is uh, I bought mine, so I can't help you with it. Ragnar commissioned his, so I would recommend talking to him. Oh, okay. Understandable. You bought yours. Wow. Yours is... Uh... Wow. I definitely wasn't expecting that. I, I thought yours were... I thought yours was commissioned or custom made. Um, But one thing that I'm trying to... Hold on. Wait. Huh? Okay, it's just where I'm s <laughs> looking at the stream. That really threw me off, actually. Uh, I got my visual model commission for sixty-five dollars. I mean, if it works, it's one of those. If you're if it works and you're happy with it, it shouldn't really matter with the cost. Obviously, yeah, you want it done 
you want it made how you want it to be made. That is a, obviously that's a fair thing, but if uh, if you've got it cheaper for if you got it cheaper than what you was expecting, then well, everybody's uh, everybody's happy, so to speak. Um, but yeah, I, I I don't know. I mean, when I I think I I think I mentioned. Hmm? Uh, the one for YouTube Studios, my mom made my PNG. Yeah, I remember you mentioning actually about your mom making your PNG. I that was actually mind blowing, honestly. Most people just get a, most people just get an artist to do that, and yeah, uh, going to the for now while Ragnar and I do what from Ooh, he finished. Do is it do do yeah do very? And what's the farm with me? Ooh, okay, okay. I I tried starting do very. Uh, yeah, I, I I started a little bit of do video. I I need to get back into that part. Uh, that thing is that section is just all new to me. Um, but I mainly I just mainly been farming relics, uh, farming relics, leveling equipment and gear and warframes. I guess. Um, yeah, but have fun and thank you for the lurk. We definitely have to jump on Warframe sometime, Kizu. I, I definitely missed... I definitely do miss playing uh, Warframe with you and, and Daisu and, and Lucero. It was always fun. Even though it was only the, fir the, the first and only time. Uh, if you want to hop on tonight, I'd be down. Oh, sure. I, I'm always on... I'm always happy to hop on Warframe, Minecraft. <laughs> either, either. I don't mind. I've also been all over the shop with, uh, I've been all over the shop with, uh, streaming at the moment. I've noticed I'd be streaming be here, there, and everywhere. Uh, yeah, I think one thing I need to do with Warframe is just get my, I, I need to grind. I need to really grind and get my Warframe rank up. So then I can start making things. Uh, I don't have those games, but I wish you all the best of luck. <laughs> Thank you, CWS. Much appreciated. But yeah, talk about talk about things and um, stuff like that. Um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll we'll definitely have to jump on raft together at some some time. You'll have to show me uh, show me the ways since you've uh, you've already completed it like three times. <laughs> And I've uh, I have never completed it, so plus I, I like I mentioned we've never we've never VC before, so that'll be a first. Unless wait, does Blue have does Blue have Raft? Because she could always set up a collab with Blue. That could be something. Because it could be, I mean, obviously you don't you don't have to include me, but it could be you, blue. It could be you, blue. Me, if you want me there, it, uh, whoever else. I think there's is it four spots. I think I'm not entirely sure. I think I'm sure there's. I think it's only four. Um, can't do lots. I believe she does. Ooh, okay. Well, that's that's always something. If you want to play as a as a chill out game, since uh, we might we might want to invite Raven. Raven? Oh, Blue Raven. Um, I I think I follow Blue Raven on the uh, on Twitch, but I. Can't remember. <laughs> I I I know. Well, I don't know. No blue, but you get my point. I think. I hope. Um. I yeah. I know of blue or oh, raven. I mean, it's blue. That's another thing I need to get used to saying. Actually, instead of saying, obviously blue. I think you can have total four. Yeah, I think it is four. That's total. Um, but. Yeah, that's one thing I have to get used to, is 
Blue plays, I call Blue. And then I have to get used to calling Raven, or Blue Raven, Raven, instead of Blue. <laughs> because normally, it can be confusing. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's not only that, it's I, I tend to call people... So if they have a first, if... Um, If they, if they have, say, two names, you call Raven Rave. See, if they have two names, so you have Seabass Streams, I call you Seabass. Or take Kizu, take, take Kizu for, instance, for example. I used to call Kizu, I used to call Kizu, Kizu, all the time. And because I would stumble across, stumble over words and letters and everything, I would end up calling Kizu, I wouldn't, yeah, I, I would try and call Kizu, I would try and call it Kizu, Kizune. There we go. Um, but um, yeah, basically Kizu just basically said to me, "If it's if it's easier, just call me Kizu." So okay. <laughs> um, I mean, it's it's just like my name, honestly. English is a difficult language. Um, yeah, it's my native language, and I don't even know how to speak it properly, so... <laughs> that, there's that. Um, but there's... See, the thing is... Wait, hold on. Did we encounter a Pokemon before this? Because if so, I have not... I have not... And noted it down. And if that's the if that's the case, then that means I missed out. I have no idea what the Pokemon was before. That'll be with talking and getting distracted. Um but if not, then that means that this whale lord is our encounter. Actually no we no we didn't. I don't think did we? I can't remember. I cannot even remember. Well, what I can do is, well, hmm, no, because then if I'm using it, uh, okay, um, actually, Give me two seconds. I think you can go back on the vote, or the you can go back. You can go back on the stream even. So we'll do that. Give me two seconds. Let me just. Oh. Um. Hmm. That reminds me. I have to schedule a community night at some point. Oh, that'll be fun. That will be fun. Uh, what do you what do you have in mind? What do you have in mind? I do apologize, I'm just checking something. So... Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Um... So, I think this is actually our encounter for this area. Let me just... Holy, I do talk a lot. 
when I stood it. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, that's our. So this is our, our encounter. Um, Pisa wants to play Fall Guys. I mean, it depends because you could you could do it where you mix it up. So you either play multiple games in one in one community night, or you could play one game per community night and do it that way. It's entirely up to you since it's your. Uh, Since it's your community tonight, since you will be hosting it, it only makes sense. But, I mean, there's a lot of games that you would put, well, you you play anyways that I've noticed that you could use, or that you could do multiplayer. Um, or that you could use community nights, I mean. Um, you could do things like, uh, what's the one? You could do... What's the one that I'm thinking of? Um, I'm trying to think of the one that I'm thinking of. Um, I mean, you could use... You could do Apex. You could do Apex, but you could do trios. And you could swap out every so often. Every game or something like that. You could do... Fall Guys... You could do... What was the other game you played? What was multiplayer? You could do... Is it Dead by Daylight? You could play that as well. You could play You could play that with uh, people rotating in, rotating in and out. Uh, true, but the, prob the problem is trying to host it. Yeah, that is... Yeah, that would probably be a problem. I mean, it depends. Unless... I mean, the way you could probably do it would be... The way that you could probably do it would be get somebody held somebody else to host the lobbies for you and you just join because of obviously internet connection well not internet connection but yeah basically because of uh because of that plus to be fair with um with it being a community night would you also want to stream the community night or would you prefer to keep it as a community and I and just only host it on discord and then it could be a per it could be one of those perks of people it could be one of those perks to people that um join the discord as well also what are we going to nick and whale ward i've noticed i'm talking about a lot of other things and not pokemon but anywho that's just me probably just as a community i understandable I really should just do some t just talking streams at some point. I I I I could sit and talk about everything, <laughs> about everything, anything, and every, anything. I was lost the word. Anything, not the word. Anything and everything. I mean, um, King of Wales. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if it fits, then sure. Why not? Um. I mean, you're not far off. Um, if it, oh, it actually does fit. Wait, hold on. Which one's select? There we go. Hold on. Oh. Oh, that was the wrong key. I think it was called King. <laughs> I think it was called. Did we call it King? Yeah, we we called it King. Oh well. Um, that was wrong. Hold on a second. One thing I do want to check actually is how much HP does Wellward have? It's level six and it has thirty-seven HP. Wow. That's um. That's a lot of HP, and I keep misclicking because I've got the keys next to each other. Uh, okay. So we do that. We definitely need to train. Okay, so what we'll do then is um, we'll send out Ten and Queenie with these two. Um, but we'll do when we come back and we go to um, what do you call it? And we go towards the the gym leader. 
we will we will do a little bit of training uh try and train do a little bit of training and try and train um whale lord a little bit because if possible whale lord could actually holy hell that actually hit okay uh whale lord could actually be basically a tank a, um we could use we could use uh whale lord or whale or king actually uh i've got the name actually for a second but yeah we could uh we could use king as a tank I remember Mill Tank from Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Pokemon. Yeah, Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal. Uh, I can't remember the the trainer, but the trainer had a, a Mill Tank and was well known for having the Pokemon Mill Tank because it, it just used Rollout every single time, and it would wipe you out. I remember that quite well because I got really, I got really frustrated when I was a kid. When I was a kid. Uh, because of that. Oh my, okay. Is that going to work? I think it was gym leader. It was. It was gym leader. Um, it was a gym leader in the Johto region. Um, I can't remember the name though. Hold on. I'll see if I can remember. Pokemon... It wasn't Flynn, I know that. Oh no, not Flynn, Falconer. Fal Falconer. Whitney. Was it Whitney? Was it, was it Whitney? Hold on a second. So we've got Falconer, we've got Bugsy, Whitney. Yeah, it was. Yes, it was. Ugh. We could have actually speak. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was Whitney in Goldenrod City. Um, because they had a Clefairy and a Mill Tank, and the Mill Tank was literally a tank. It just you wouldn't be able to hit it with anything. If you did, it'd do barely no damage. Oh, hold on, Sin, Sinwood City, Olivine City. Return to oh, yeah, never mind. Then there's Mahogany Town, and then there's Blackthorn City. Dragonair, Dragonair, Gyarados, Kingdra. At level four at level thirty-eight and forty-one. Wow. That is very low for the eighth gym. Yeah, it was uh, it was Whitney. I've just had a look. I do apologize. <laughs> um I don't know. One thing I would actually really enjoy that I would actually really want to do would be play one game from every from every single generation uh of pokemon on the stream uh and do it back to back so do you know uh so like you mentioned see like you're you're wanting to do a well you are wanting to do a um what do you call it you are wanting to do a a pickathon um I I had the idea idea <laughs> I had the idea of doing a uh a, a pokathon if you want to call it that well not a poke yeah kind of a, a pokathon but it'd be I don't I don't think I'd do it all in one stream if that makes sense I wouldn't I wouldn't do a subathon but as a pokathon if that makes sense uh actually I could I probably <laughs> now I think about it actually yeah I probably could. I probably could, but the problem is, oh right, the pickle on that is still low. <laughs> um, why the fuck does Glilly have a sludge bomb? What the hell? I'm paralyzed. Shit. Ice punch shouldn't do that much damage. Okay, it did. So, mm, stop being paralyzed. God damn it. Um. I don't have anything to to heal par paralysis either. Paralysis with either, um, but yeah, I've I've always wanted to do 
Uh, I've always wanted to do that, so I play every single Pokemon. Well, not every single Pokemon game, but one game from every generation. Um, okay, well, looks like I'm just going to be wasting potions. Um, but yeah, I, I could see that being fun, to be honest, doing that. Um, hmm? Water spout being a super effective move. Well, not super effective, but effective move. That's questionable. Also, why am I... All affected Pokemon will faint in three turns. So if we're not careful, we can lose 10, basically. Fluffy. Wait, hold on. No. Well, I'm I'm going to have to try and beat this two. I'm going to, have to try and beat this fluffy within two more turns. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Um, but yeah. So I uh, with the with the Pokemon thing. Oh, I mentioned. Uh huh? Uh huh? Wait. Hold on. Ten can use water pulse? Excuse me? Um. What? Wait, did I put. Hold on. Did I select the. 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 the, the learning at random? Because if so, then that is. That is broken, <laughs> kind of. Um, okay, so let's. Let's swap you. But yeah, that, to, be, to be honest though, there's not that many pickath uh, pickathons. Oh, God damn it. Um, there's not that many. There's not that many Pikmin, uh, yeah, P Pikmin games, is there? Not that I'm, is, is it four? That's, ooh, that could be useful. So, yeah, I think there's only, is the four now? To be fair though, how long does a Pikmin game actually take to complete? Sharp beak. So that's that's flying type Pokemon. Uh, flying type Pokemon. Flying type moves. Uh I own the third one. Huh? I own the third one. It costs a hundred dollars for the first, second, and third. Uh, second, first, second, third. First, second, and fourth up together. Wow. That huh? See, I know the fourth is, I wouldn't say fairly new, but it's still fairly, what do you call it? It's still fairly, um, oh. I wonder if Mewtwo is going to be our first legendary. Let's have a look. 
Please don't poison. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. We, uh... Mm hmm Screw that up. I didn't think that would be a critical hit, though. Are you see what? So instead of a whale lord, we could call a Charizard. Wow. Uh, actually, fun fact: I have never had a Charizard card. You got a crit, congrats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but on a Pokemon that I would rather, I would rather kept. Um. Not twenty. What's not twenty mean? Ow. It's cheaper to buy one or two separately. Really? Okay. Um, that I wasn't actually surprised. Hmm. That's quite surprising, actually, because normally when there's a bundle of one or two games together, well, not one or two, one, two or more games, one. No, nope, I'm apparently I can't speak English. Um, when there's normally a bundle of two or three games, two or more script, two or more games together, I mean, um, normally it's cheaper but to buy them to buy them together to buy them separately and it'd be cheaper than a bundle that is a bit strange because normally you save money as well so as in you normally save money with bundles i mean i should have actually defeated that never mind the problem is now we need to burst the gym leader Hmm. But the thing that's going to be a little bit risky, actually. Hold on. Let's look at Pokemon a second. What moves do you have? You have Hydro Pump, Petal Dance, Giga Drain. Jesus Christ. Why? Why it has Grass type moves? I, I have no idea. I think I put on random moves. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, Giga Drain is nice. True. Yeah, true. Uh, to be fair though, with powerhouse moves like those, uh, like Hydro Pump and Petal Dance, I definitely need Whale Lord to stay alive and not faint. But, yeah, to be fair, Giga, Giga Drain's always been a nice move to have, just as like a, a little bit of a, a backup, I guess. Um. Well, okay. Wrap. Not bad. Hydro pump, and it missed. Fuck. <laughs> um. And King Cam was switched out because it's wrapped. Yep. Thought so. Just thought I'd check. I wasn't quite sure about that actually, and that hits. So. And that does nothing. Oh, damn, okay. Um, can we just spam Giga Drain? See what Giga Drain does. Nothing. Okay. Um, I need to use a potion. This definitely wasn't planned. Oh. Hmm. Air uh, cutter, that's even worse. When's this wrap going to not wing attack? And uh, that's King Fainted. Oh, maybe not. Hold on. We're switching. <laughs> We're switching immediately. Holy damn. Oh wow, and Zap can kind of hit. Okay. Hopefully that gives King one or two levels. Level seven. 
Love a light. Nice. Uh, Queen is level 16. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, oh, hold on a second. Hmm. Okay. We'll do the usual. We'll, uh, we'll do the trainers one by one. Instead of the double battle that you probably normally would do. Just so we can train Whale Lord a little bit. Oh, not Whale Lord, but King, even. I keep forgetting to use them in. I keep forgetting to use the nicknames. But yeah, how are you, Seabass? I hope you're doing well. Uh, what day are we on Saturday? Are you going to be streaming soon or later? Or are you, are you taking, um, yeah, are you taking today off? If you don't mind me asking. I didn't realize the star you was actually level, it's the same level. Septile, even worse. <laughs> Well, even worse for them. It's a bit strange how the grass type Pokemon I have has a water type move, and the water type Pokemon I have has a grass type move. That is very odd. Uh, we'll switch to King again. Mm hmm. Oh, Giga Drain only has five uses. Or five power points, as they're actually called. Well done. That didn't take long to get to double digit, double digits. Whirlpool. Um Traps and hurts the poor in a whirlpool for two to five turns. We'll swap brain dance actually. I believe Whirlpool will actually be excuse me, be a really good move. And uh that's mainly because Whirlpool being Whirlpool, even. Um, we could use that at the start of a, of a battle. If we're struggling. So, for instance, actually with this, I think I probably will use Whirlpool. Just so it will do a, uh, a passive. And it misses. <laughs> Unless it misses. Um, there we go. And then, while that's doing that every turn, for up to one or two... For one or two times, we can then use another move. And then... Uh, probably use Hydro Pump, actually. Since apparently it's super effective. Wait. Why is... Oh, wait a second. Isn't Nido Queen Poison Ground? Oh, that would be why it would be super effective, then. Aha. Uh -huh. That will do it. <laughs> that will definitely do it. Surskit. Giga Drain. I don't think that will do much, actually. In fact, Surskit's a water type. A bug water, I think. Yeah, bug water type. So, should be okay. No, that one misses. Uh... Hmm. I'm not sure why Giga Drain only has five though. I thought Giga Drain had probably ten or fifteen. Um Oh is that Mega Drain that I'm thinking of? It could be Mega Drain. I think Mega Drain has like twenty or thirty. No, not twenty or thirty. Fifteen or twenty, I mean. Um, well, this whirlpool is not going well. 
There we go. And it doesn't even do much. But it is trapped. So we could... Bog... Uh, fresh water? Yeah, we'll use fresh water. 42 points. Hmm. So, one problem that we now have is from here to... Hold on a second, let me just change something. Um, so from here to... From here to Slateport, we only have one encounter. Which is... Uh, Granite Cave. Which could definitely be a problem. I mean, hmm, hmm. I don't know actually. Now that I think about it, Granite Cave, it depends on what Pokemon we actually get from Granite Cave because if we get a decent Pokemon or a Pokemon that could evolve into a decent Pokemon, um, we, we would definitely have, uh, what do you call it? We, we could definitely end up having a, a, a a decent theme going to um actually head into Slateport so because after this gym leader we have one two I think two right no not two one two um one, two, three, well, four actually, uh, five, six. We have six. So after this gym leader, we have six more uh, trainer battles. I did not mean to speed that up that, <laughs> that quick. Uh, Sunken. Um... Mm hmm. <laughs> Sunken's grass type, so we'll have to switch to 10, because if not, King would probably get KO'd, even though it's a tank. Giga Drain, <laughs> it's a good job we switched. Definitely a good, la, 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 la. Definitely a good job that we switched. Uh, I don't think Wars of Pulse would do much. Okay, doesn't do much, but... Still does a decent amount of damage, actually. Nice, okay. Um, that was a lot easier than I was expecting. Scyther. Scyther is a poor... A... Shit. Um, we, we definitely need to switch. <laughs> but it's a bug type. So, super effective against grass. So, king should be fine. Plus, if we use... Um, Combination of water pool and maybe a hydro pump. We should be fine. Spider web. Huh? Can't escape. Okay. <laughs> Can't escape. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sure. But I didn't know that was even a move. Honestly, I have never seen spider web before. The only po the only two Pokemon I can think of that that would come from would be. Well, actually, no. It would be the the B three, I think. Of course, you're going to use Giga Drain. Oh, Giga Drain, a potion. I mean, that that will not do much damage. No, I thought not. I only used it to try and get the the rest of that HP down, but they had different ideas. And you're going to use another potion. Okay. I'll just use Hydro Pump again. And then... Whirlpool... Oh, wow, I'm actually surprised that Hydro Pump hitting twice, I don't know. I mean, not, <laughs> not that I'm complaining, but... Uh, damn. Ooh. Two, 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 two level. No, you're not learning that move. <laughs> uh, two levels is just from that. Mesang. 
Metang uh, psychic. Yeah, psychic. Psychic steel, I think. So was a move, maybe. Whirlpool and maybe Whirlpool and uh what's the one? Meteor Marsh. That should Okay, yeah. As expected. Um Hydro Pump? I don't know if Hydro Pump will do much though. So okay, never mind. Uh oh. You have an orange berry, I'm guessing. Yeah, orange berry. So I don't think Okay, it missed. Nice. And then Hydro Pump. That should KO it. Nice. Nice. Okay, so level 15. Wow. Oh, King <laughs> King's caught up pretty quickly. Uh that is our first gym match. Again. <laughs> Again. Um so we'll skip all this. CM39. I didn't see what it actually oh, what it actually gave us. So Sacred Fire. A mystical fire attack that may burn, may inflict a burn. Power 100, accuracy 95, power points 5. Huh? Wait, what? 10 or 10? And King can learn it. I just want to learn it to 10, to be quite honest, because a, a grass type that can learn a fire type move and a water type move. It's kind of broken in my opinion. Um, we'll swap out Petal Dance because I don't really use Petal Dance. I only use a Petal Dance if I really need to use a powerful uh, move or if it's the if it's the end of a battle and it's going to take two moves to defeat one Pokemon. Oh yeah, I forgot about those. Wait, hold on a second. Pokemon. 15, 16, 16. Right, okay. Whoop. I did that by accident. Uh, so let's go and heal our Pokemon. There we go. And then go and get those goods back. Do basically just do all this dialogue. Farfetched. Uh, actually, no, I will run. I was going to defeat it, but uh, I don't know. I don't really see much of a point, honestly. I've also just realized we've had two. We've had two legendary encounters. Which is Articuno and Mewtwo. Or shall I say the first Mewtwo that we actually encountered. Holy hell, that's... Hmm. Okay. But yeah, I'm... De yeah, I'm definitely thinking about... Possibly streaming at a later date, a later date, or a later time. Um, hydro bomb that should practically KO it, I think. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely thinking about doing uh, later streams. Possibly. Um. Yeah. My career in crime comes to a dead end. What? Okay. 
I didn't really think much of the dialogue the first time I read that. And now I probably know why. So I think there's two items in this area that I've forgotten. Slugma. Okay. Um, whirlpool. Whirlpool should be effective. Super effective, actually. Yep. I shouldn't have to use... I, I can't speak. I shouldn't have to use... Um... Yeah, I shouldn't have to use Hydro Pump. Bellossum. Okay, so we can use ten. We can uh, we can check Sacred Fire actually. See how Sacred Fire does. Uh, Sacred Fire. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. Frenzy plant. What, huh? What's frenzy plant? Powerful but leaves the user immobile the next turn. Hmm. Nah. It's like the, um, what do you call it? It's like solar beam. Where solar beam you charge for one move. Choice band. Okay. So, Solar Beam, you charge for one move, or the first move, and then you... Okay, it's not this area that I'm thinking of. Um, well, we're going to skip all this, just, cause, just because it's a lot of dialogue. And we've already done this seven other times. <laughs> um... But yeah, it's, it's a bit like Solar Beam. So Solar Beam, you charge the first move, the first turn, and then you unleash the attack the second turn. Apart from that one is you attack first, and... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, you... Yeah. Charge first. Charge first turn, unleash your attack second turn. But the thing is, there's a held item. I can't remember the held, what the held item is called, but you can buy. I'm pretty sure you can buy them, and it's just a one turn, or it's like a one time use. So you could use Solar Beam. You can charge and use Solar Beam on the same turn. But I've forgotten what the. Uh, I've forgotten the. Bleh, I can't speak. I've forgotten what the actual item is called. And uh, we don't need to why did I use sweet scent what the hell looks like there's nothing here huh okay um yeah looks like we don't need to heal at least Let's see what we can buy. Uh, what do we need? Is it potions or is it Pokeballs? We don't really need Pokeballs, but we'll buy three. And we'll just buy potions. I would normally buy Super Potions, but I think we could have probably only bought two of them. Something like that. Parasect. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Is it Poison Super Effect Begins? Bug type. So, as I mentioned before, the only four Pokemon that I can think of that Spiderweb would make sense would be Spinarak, Ariados, Joltic and um, is it Quint? What's it called? Quintan? Oh, I forgot what it's called. 
um joltix uh what you call it gold joltix uh evolution that reminds me i think isn't joltix uh seabus's favorite pokemon actually uh pokemon joltix what does joltix evolve into what's the galvantula that's the one that's the one i couldn't remember the uh yeah, I couldn't remember the name, but that's the only war book when I can think of that the move Spiderweb would actually make sense, or would actually come from, I guess. So let's try Razor Leaf, because it is technically an ice type, but I think it's ice water. Yes. How would Dukong? Mm, actually, you know what? It probably still could. I was thinking, how can Dugong no clamp but then he could no clamp with his jaw or mouth i guess hmm. it's a bit strange seeing seeing pokemon with random random moves okay so that's that finished uh then now we can go Go to Dewford, I think. Yeah, go to Dewford. Not gonna lie, I couldn't remember if we actually versed, versed them or not, but apparently so. Skip all this, skip all this, because it's just dialogue. There we go. So then, what I will do is just in. God damn it. I wish this. Mm. So, one thing I do wish was. I kind of wish the older games had auto save. Um, say, like, every time you. Every, every time you. Um, okay. Every time you entered into somewhere, like, say, a cave. Say, a. Ooh, our, our encounter. Or granite cave encounter. I mean, okay. I mean, it's a yeah, fine. I mean, masquerines a masquerines a uh, a bug type and can actually be quite powerful against the correct Pokemon. So it's not really a bad, not really a bad one. But there is obviously a lot more better Pokemon. But I mean, I I don't personally. I'm kind of biased because, like I mentioned, Masquerade is one of my favorite Pokemon or one of my favorite Bug type Pokemon in Gen Three. Sorry. Um. What can we call Surskip? If anybody has any. Uh, if anybody has any suggestions. Um, hmm. I mean, I was thinking, I was thinking something like slider, because it slides across the, well, not slides, but it, yeah, it kind of slides, just slides across the, the top of a lake, so or a pond actually. I'm up and I spell that right, yes. Slider. There we go. Oh magnet. Okay, so portion slider. And then what we'll do is we'll swap slider. The see this is another thing as well though. We have to be careful around this area because this is where we lost one of our uh, one of our um one of our fairly decent Pokemon, I guess, last time. A ten, and then we'll use uh, 
we will use is it, is it sacred fire i think it's called uh but yeah this is one of the this is actually one of the areas that we lost a, a pretty decent pokemon um i think it was on our what was it was it the um, i think it was our third playthrough actually we we i think we lost um we lost a certain pokemon here i remember that because we lost it to a hitmonlee if i remember correctly yeah we lost it to a hitmonlee which uh took me by surprise it was level 11 hitmonlee oh that was the wrong key yeah it was a level 11 hitmonlee and <laughs> yeah and it was uh quite annoying because it also nearly wiped out another bug when we had um yeah why not let's use queenie um actually second thoughts I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Flamethrower. You're level 9 and you know Flamethrower. God damn. Okay. Um, hold on. Actually, I might have to run from a couple. Glygar. Where is it? There we go. That's what I was looking for. A what melberry? Excuse me? A what mel a what 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 mel? What mel? What mel? You are joking. We could have caught a metagross. That is, that is so I don't even know. That is really annoying, honestly. That is really annoying. Because Metagross is one of my favorite steel type Pokemon. Well, Gen 3 steel types, I guess. I think my overall favorite steel type would probably be. Ooh. Um. Yeah, actually, yeah. I think my overall favorite steel type would be Scizor. Um. Yeah, because my fit. Okay, this is where it gets a little bit confusing because my favorite steel type would be Scizor. My favorite bug type would probably be Venomoth, I think. Yeah, Venom Venomoth. Um, oh. Hmm. So, if I just use King, huh, I just realized Nido King King. <laughs> okay then, much shot that shouldn't be effective. That effective actually. Speed fell. Well then, if we use Hydro Pump, okay. Yeah, because then if we use if you use Hydro Pump, that should be uh, super effective. I'm going to say special effective, but that should be super effective. Yes. Because it's uh, poison ground. Hmm? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God damn it. The deep sea scale. I forgot about you finding a uh, an item there. Oh, uh, hopefully. Hmm. Okay. Kabutops. Fair enough. Oh yeah, I forgot Slider got to level ten. Huh? Why is it every? Oh fuck. Why is it every? That didn't last long. But I just realised why is it every Pokemon? I tried to escape. In this cave, I can't escape from if I'm using slider. That's weird. Um. Hmm. 
That was very odd. Um, portion. Portion you, lots 18. Let's portion you, lots 20. It's a shame we don't have any. There is a. Uh, raises our move power, but permits only that move. Hmm. Flying type, electric type. Shame we don't have any uh, electric type Pokemon. Skip through all this. Da -da 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 -da. Done. Bug. Right. Items. Cotton spore. Spores cling to the floor, sharply reducing speed. Never used that move before. Oops. I did not mean to do that. So let's put the circuit. Or what do we call it? Slider? Let's put a slider in the fainter box and then heal Pokemon. There we go. And then what we can do is we can burst the two. Hold on a second. Let's have a look at Pokemon. Um, okay, then we can reverse these two, so this one and then the one on the right, but we'll not do them together. We'll do this one, we'll collect the two items, uh, the one from the rock, one from the edge of the sand, and then we can then come back, reverse that person, or that fisherman, uh... Hmm. Um, yeah, versus like fisherman or fisherman even. Uh and then go to Um Yeah, and then heal and then try and probably take on the gym leader, I think. To be honest, what I actually should do Ideally, I should go around and challenge each of the trainers that are in the gym. But the main problem with that is any poke they they could bring out any Pokemon and it could try it could nearly if not it could either KO one or two of our Pokemon or it could um it could wipe the whole team, so Um, yeah, well, well, in fact, what's the, I've just realized, what's the actual chances of, what's the chances of the same, What's the chance of the of the trainer having the same Pokemon twice? Snorunt is Ice type, so we could switch to ten and use Sacred Fire.
So we can give me a second. Um sacred fire. And that's snoring down. And then we can go and get the two items as well. Oh yeah, I forgot about we start to register people. A wiki berry. God damn it. Um out of everything that could have been. It, well, at least I have the pair. <laughs> Pointless, but at least I have the pair, I guess. Let's reverse this one. And then we need to try and beat the gym leader, which Depending on, hmm, depending on the Pokemon, we should be easily able to do it. Let's be quite honest. But then again, I did. Well, I didn't say the last time, but then again, it's one of the. Holy fuck! Don't do that again, please. Oh, endure. Okay. And then we can just use Razor Leaf, and that should KO it, actually. Yes, sweet. Awesome. Okay, so... Um... Mm -hmm. That is that, and then... Speed up, and now let's go versus the gym leader, shall we? See if I remember correctly. Go through here, turn right. Go. Wait, hold on. Yeah, that way, turn left, go all the way down here, and then that's the gym leader. So you don't, we don't even have to verse any Pokemon, uh, yeah, any Pokemon trainers. But I believe he has three. Yeah, three Pokemon. Okay. Carvana at level 16. Yeah. Oh. That, that's, that's a Pokemon. <laughs> Water Spout. I thought Water Spout was a... Huh? Oh, 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 oh. Huh? What? <laughs> Wait, I thought Carvana was... No, I'm confused. Um, I thought Water Sport, or Spout, even, was a... Um, a stasis... St not a stasis effect move. What do you call it? A... Um, a debuff type move, I mean. I can't, I can't remember the actual name for it. I just call them debuff moves. Jolteon. See, that kind of sucks, because the Pokemon that I would have... Oh, wait, in fact... No, never mind. We can use... Oh... That's a Bug-type move.
Ooh. Okay. Huh? What? I've only got those potions as well. Um... I can't really... Uh, I, I don't know what to use. We use potion. But then again, what would a potion... What, what a potion... What would a, yeah, it'll just use silver wind again. And yeah, it raises the attack as well, and the defense, and the speed. Okay, it raises everything apparently. Um, that's gonna KO ten. Oh, you're a bitch! Fuck. Oh, well, we've just lost ten, and. We're probably going to lose this as well, actually. In fact, hmm, hold on a second. Ain't no confusion. And we become confused on the first turn. What is that? How does takedown hit with so much as well? Oh, what? I can't do anything. I literally can't do anything. Because if I use a potion on King, it will get KO'd anywhere. If... If we use one on Queenie, King or Queen or King or Faint, if um, we're just going to potion King and see what happens, confusion. Yep, yep, that's King down, and then Queenie. And then we'll potion Queenie. Confusion. That's super effective. And that's the end of attempt number eight. And to think we were on the same we the we we were the same level, or roughly the same level as the Jolteon. And the Jolteon took down each Pokemon. Which, what annoyed the hell out of me was, why the hell has Jolteon had Silverwind out of all po uh, out of all Pokemon moves, and then Confusion? I I don't even know what to say. I I'll be honest. I have no idea what to say when it comes to that. Um, but yes, give me two uh, moments. Uh, we are going to we are going to re um re randomize uh we'll do that one moves. Hmm. Actually, no. We'll do it with unchanged. Yeah, I think we'll do it with that. I think we'll do it with unchanged moves this time. Because...
Um, hello, Sada, how are you? How was the um, how was the Kyogre fight? By the way, I uh, I popped in while you was prepping for the Kyogre fight. I hope it went well. I uh, I, I popped in and I was lurking. I don't think I. In fact, no, I did. I managed to catch you. Uh, I managed to catch you battling Kyogre, but I don't think I managed to actually stay for the full fight. So I hope it went well. I hope you managed to beat Kyogre, and I hope you're doing well. How are you? <laughs> How are you? How are you? How are you? Hope everything's well. Um, so I'm currently. You did awesome. Yes, yeah, they did. Yeah. Um, I beat him. Nice. Congratulations. Uh, after Kai... I'm, I could be wrong on this one, but after Kyogre, isn't Groudon next? Because I think it's Kyogre, Groudon, then... Is it Kyogre, Kyogre Groudon, then Rayquaza? 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 How you want to pronounce that? Um, we just lost this attempt. Um, I'm just trying... I'm just currently trying to... Uh, re redo the whole thing. Groudon was earlier. Oh, so it's Groudon, Groudon, Kyogre, then, um, then Rayquaza, I'm guessing. Oh, Rayquaza. Um, you still have to refight Rayquaza. Oh, are you doing the, so you're, you're playing DX, which I've not actually played. Well, I have, but I've only played half, so I've not got up to, I've not got up to that point yet. Uh, I think the... I think when I actually stopped playing DX, it was when you actually... You had to go through... Um, you had to go through all the different areas uh, after getting kicked out by... Uh, when, when Gengar's team tried to frame you. I remember that. Also, that's one problem with uh, the dungeon games that I, I have. My favourite Pokemon is Gengar, so it's a little bit... <laughs> it's a little... It fits. It fits the personality really well. Or oh, not... Well, yeah, kind of. The personality of the of a Gengar. But then again, when you see... When you compare that to Gengar in the anime fight... In the animators, I mean. Um, it's totally... It's a total different um, personality swap, so to speak. One's mischievous, whereas one's well, one's mischievous and basically acts like an asshole. I'll be honest. Where the one in the anime just yeah acts mischievous, but jokes around and basically just wants wants people to play with, I guess, and that kind of thing. Um, try to use uh, bit words to get the credits. Refight the big guys again to get them on your team. Do after credit storyline. Ah, yeah, that that sounds very familiar because I think I remember. If I remember correctly, um, yeah, if I remember correctly, uh. On the in number, well, not number in uh, Pokemon, I forgot which one it's called. Um, in red and blue, is it red and blue? Um, yeah, Mystery Dungeon Red and Blue. When I back when I played those, I completed those two. Um, but I didn't manage to actually get any legendaries on my team, even though I went and I went and beat them God knows how many times. Give me two seconds. I just have to switch the screen so I can... Uh... Yeah, just so I can switch the screen because then I can swap to this one. Oh, never mind. Huh. I... Okay, so that happened. There we go. Does that work? No, that's what I was trying to avoid. <laughs> uh, there we go. That's better. <laughs> and we are back. 
Um, so yeah, this is attempt number nine, unfortunately. Um, oh, I need to make that. Uh, I need to make that template actually. Give me two seconds. Let me just sort something out. Um, that's that. That is okay. Um, but yeah, so you are currently trying to get all the legendaries on your team then. Good luck with that. I know that's, uh, that's quite the challenge, to be honest. Um, I know that there's, if I remember correctly, you need to get the team to, I think it's like platinum rank or the highest, I think the highest ranks platinum, I think. Uh, which, honestly, that is something I really enjoy doing with the, uh, with that. Yeah, I'm a master test. Why, why, why? <laughs> why? Why do you say that? Uh. Yeah, why, why do you, why do you, why do you say that, ta-da? There we go, so that's that sorted. Um, let's just skip through all this. Mudkip. What? Isn't Mudkip the original one? That's strange. Yeah, I've got to catch them all. Yeah, but that keeps you... That's the thing, though. If you want to get all the Pokemon within um, within a Pokemon game, it keeps you hooked. That's the thing. It, it keeps you hooked, and it keeps you playing the game. And as long as you enjoy it, there's, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. I used to like the um, the designs. So the designs of the, the dungeons... Uh, I bought the game and I'm and I'm curious what it's all about. Huh? I'm confused. You bought you bought the game, which I'm con. Wait, what? Hmm? <laughs> what game did you buy? I'm I'm a little lost. I thought we was talking about the uh, mystery dungeon games. Now, uh, bought the game and I'm curious what it's all about. Which game would that be? Oh. Skip all this because this is the night. <laughs> this is the night time we've done this, so we might as well skip it all. It's a good job we can. Uh, plus, I'm having fun. I'm enjoying the music of. I'm enjoying the music of of PMD PMD. Oh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> um. Uh. Oh, is this the first time you're actually playing, um... Yeah, you're actually playing it. Well, let's see what starter Pokemon we can get. Grovile, okay. Gloom, uh, Chick... Wow! Gloom? I mean, this is just Grass Haven at this point, but... Gloom, probably not going to use Gloom because we need a Leaf Stone or Sunstone to evolve it. Grovile, we could use Grovile, but then again, we've used Sceptile three times. So, we'll use Chikorita. Something different. Something... Something different. Chikorita. There we go. Oh, I actually spelled it correctly. Sweet. Uh, <laughs> wow. Petal Dance. Petal Dance Giga Drain. Also, why does Petal Dance have 20 power points? That's a little strange. Hold on. It knows extreme speed. Why does the Zigzagoon know extreme speed? That is, uh, that is broken. That is, uh, yeah, that is definitely broken. So we'll, we'll skip all this. Uh, we'll rename Chikorita, and since you are currently here, Tada, we'll name it after you. We'll name it Tada. Um, that one... It also knows extreme death. <laughs> I'm 
sometimes I do feel sorry for that zigzagoon because it's, it always seems to be a zigzagoon that we uh, that you end up that you end up versing. Also, I feel like my voice is slightly going again, but <laughs> Cyndaquil. It's like I'm playing Pokemon Gold, <laughs> Gold, Silver, or Crystal at least. If I remember correctly, I think. Arcanine was the first Pokemon that I ever noticed what had extreme speed. Slowpoke. Well, let's just skip all this because it's it's not exactly uh, to do with the game ish. I, well, it, it that that was way out of context, I guess. But it's to do with the game, obviously. Um, but. Uh, You chose Grovile. Fuck. Fuck. This might be a problem. How's my day going? My day is... Or is slash has. Uh, been good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for asking. How's your day been today? I hope you've been having a good day. So, I may have miscalculated something. One, I didn't know Grovile would use Egg Bomb. Two, I didn't realise it would do that much damage to Chikorita. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Looks like I'm also dead. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm doing good. Yeah, I'm doing okay. Tired as usual. I kind of know the feeling, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I know the I know the feeling, being tired and everything. Uh, well, that that lasted a while. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, um. Give me two moments. I didn't think I'd be on. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be on the uh, on double digits already with how many attempts, honestly. Since um... yeah, I I did say that. Even if it takes me fifty attempts to find to to fully complete a randomized nuzlocke, I will do it because it's something I've always wanted to. It's something I've always wanted to uh, to do. Hmm. Unless we just use unchanged moves, I just do it like that. So the Pokemon are the, the Pokemon are different, but the moves are the same. I think that would definitely uh i think that would definitely improve things because then i would ha i would have i would roughly have an idea of the uh the move sets well not move sets but the moves in general uh run them on that and then So we are on attempt number 10. So let me just. In fact, I might not even need to do that. Let me just test something. I'll not test something, but let me just try and sort this thing out. Right, that's that. And then do that. Do that, do that. Go back there, sort of. Right, so let's see how long this 
attempt lost. Ooh, we've got Quilaba. Speed through all this. Spell out our name. <laughs> For the 10th time. It's because you might know how to... Uh, I mean, if I didn't know how to spell it at the start, now I definitely do. Um, but yeah, so... Since... Actually, so what I've just realised is in the time that you've been in the in the chat tada i started and failed an attempt <laughs> oh So we have Dustox, we have Paras, we have Aaron. Okay, so Dustox, Paras, Aaron. Uh, Aaron. Just because of. Uh, mainly because of the. Um, because of the moves. Uh, not moves, because of the armor. Because it being a uh, steel fiber. Uh, rock slide and iron tail. Good choice. Thank you. Um, yeah, because he's a cute Pokemon. Yeah, I guess so. Actually, yeah. I also like the. Uh, I also like Agron. To be honest, Agron's. Uh, Agron. Agron. <laughs> Agron. Agron is one of my favorites from. Well, one of my favorite Gen three Pokemon. Um, plus, I'm pretty sure bug type, uh, bug type moves are no effect on steel type, if I remember correctly. We'll rename him. Rename him. Yeah. Wait, hold on a second. Let me just check something. Yeah, him. Okay. We'll rename him. Ta da. Why not? Uh, right, so then we now we need to go to Mir. Whoop. Speed through that, we get a free potion. Uh, I believe, so Mir would have probably taken Dustox, I think. Wait, no. No, Paras, I think. Well, let's have a look, screw it. <laughs> I think it's Paras. If I remember correctly, if you pick the left one, she picks the middle, they pick the middle one. Okay, I said trainers had random Pokemon, but that's... You cannot make that up. You cannot make that up. I put... I even put stand... Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> so. When I said, uh, when I said, even if it takes me 50 attempts. The day, the, the game said bet. Okay. Um, well. Uh, let's try that again, shall we? See, this is the thing. I don't know if the attempt. In fact, mm. see, this is the thing. With this, I don't know if the attempts actually. I don't know if the attempt works. It works. I don't know if the attempt. Wait, what? Well, that didn't seem right unless I had my types messed up. Yeah, that. Well, it's a Magneton, so Magneton is electric, uh, elect uh, actually, it's electric type until dual types came into play, whereas it's a, it's an electric steel type. 
And then, so when I randomized it, or when I randomized these playthroughs, they they have one or two moves that are to their typing. Well, not to their typing. Well, actually, no. It's it's un it's unchanged. I believe. I think that one was supposed to be un unchanged. So that's what's actually made me confused because if that's unchanged, why does a magneton at level five have thunder? That to me, that didn't seem right. Plus, I'm pretty sure electric type moves are super effective against steel because isn't steel a conductor? Or oh, I could be wrong on that one. I could be very wrong on that one. Um, but then again, that's me thinking too <laughs> too into it. Uh, Let's try this again, shall we? So this is number uh, this is number eleven. So the thing is, everything is pretty much. Uh, I knew it was rock. I forgot the steel part. Oh yeah, steel. Yeah, Agron. Ar Agron. Aron is uh, Aron is steel. That's why it's. Uh, that's why it practically one hit Kyoto's, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, pretty. The only thing is, the only thing that is random is. Um, yeah, the only things that are random is training Pokemon, training names and uh, training names and classes, wild Pokemon. Uh, and then the TMs. So each TM, if you get given a TM, or you find a TM, it's not the TM that you think it would be. So if it's a, say, if you pick it up, uh, and it's TM fourteen, when you look in your bag, it could be TM forty two, for instance, something like that. Um. Yeah, and that's pretty much it, actually. So let's just see. This is the only problem. What I should do is make a lot of them. I, I should make. Oops. I should make a lot of them. Or what do you call it? I should make a lot of randomized randomizers, uh, off stream, and then just load them, load them up on stream if I ever need to, that kind of thing. Um, so we started with, let's just skip all this. Wait, hold on, what? Okay, I didn't have to switch, that was strange. That, that is, that is very strange, okay. So, <laughs> during this stream, uh, we started on attempt eight, we are currently now on attempt 11. So, hold on. Let me... Let me just do something. I uh, I totally forgot to switch something else, actually. Um... Let's just skip through all this again. Um... You've been taking the best choice Pokemon and die quickly. What happens if you pick the worst one? Interesting, interesting question, actually. I, yeah, I don't know. Because this is the thing. So the, the Pokemon that your rival has, they don't actually pick a, they don't, they don't pick a, um, oh, they don't pick one from the bag. So... Like normally, 
Hold on. Wait. Sorry, what? Whooper or what also? But a Kyogre. Uh, that feels like, I don't know, that feels like cheating. But, for instance, if you pick a Pokemon, like normally, if you pick a Pokemon from these three, your opponent gets the opposite one, which is normally the type advantage. Um, but within this one, if you pick a Pokemon from here, your po your opponent doesn't pick any of the other two. They end up getting a random Pokemon. So, you could pick... You could pick anything, and they would have something totally random. Um, but, yeah, so do we pick Walt also Kyogre? <laughs> I don't know. I want to pick Kyogre, but it definitely feels like she's kind of cheating. But if it's random eyes, then I can't really say it's rigged. Oh, I, should, I guess nobody can say it's rigged. So then again, a Kyogre at level five is a bit. <laughs> but Kyogre at level five looks a bit strange. And it only has twenty-five health at level five. That is. Sorry, but what Hydro Pump, Hydro Cannon. And it missed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, and it knows ex <laughs> the zigzagoon knows extreme speed. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, that, that's quite funny. Uh, oh, apologies. Um, what total? Apologies, that was a bit late. Um, actually, this would be quite a fitting if we call... To say, I think, what was it? The last boss you burst was Kyogre. Actually, instead of naming it after you today, what would you want to call this to Kyogre? I'll, I'll, I'll let you... I'll, I'll let you nickname the Kyogre. But yeah, I, now that I think about it, I definitely should have actually picked War Total, honestly. Because there's only two moves that Kyogre's got, and yeah, Kyogre's only got two moves, which is they're highly... Go War Pokemon for the win. <laughs> yeah, Kyogre's, uh, Kyogre's only got two. Um... Kyogre's only got two uh, two moves, which are highly inaccurate, so I don't know. Um hmm. Kyogre. What can we got? Big boy. Yep, okay. Uh He might learn more. I think he will do, but I'm just hoping. I'm hoping. Um, yeah, I think he will. Oh, apologies for the ads, actually. I just realized. Ad break. Welcome back. I do apologize about the ad break. Um, yeah, it, it, it definitely might learn more, but the thing that's kind of actually... I wouldn't say worry me as such. His name is Kyogre. Call him Shrek. <laughs> yeah, I, I could have called him Shrek, actually, but I think we, uh, we were just wearing the big boys, to be honest. Um... The only thing is, what I've noticed is Kyogre has a 25 health. Once an ogre, always an ogre. <laughs> I wonder where they got the name Kyogre from, to be honest.
But there's two things that are kind of putting me on edge with this, uh, with this one. And that's the fact that he only has 25 health. Or, shall I say, Kyogre only has 25, or did have 25 health. Oh, you have a Wooper. Wait, Wooper was in the... Huh? Don't ever apologize for the outbreaks. Yeah, I... See, this is the thing, though, with the outbreaks. I... I'm not a fan of ads. And... I don't really like pushing ads out there. So that's why I've tried keeping the ads to... A minimum without them really being effect, really that affecting or affect, effect, yeah, that, really that affecting. I mean, um, spam all this. Da -da 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 -da. All right, so now we've got the da -da 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 -da. there we go. So now we have the running shoes, we have the pokeballs. Now we can start with our run. No, route one. There we go. Oh, 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 okay, um, fuck. Hmm. Big boy's drizzle made it rain. Why does that sound, my mind is cursed. Why does that not sound good? <laughs> Sounds, um, what the fuck? Well, that's our, <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's our first encounter down. Not sure how... Uh, didn't catch... Oh, hold on a second. Not caught... There we go. Uh, yeah, so I have no idea how we're going to do this. Because Kyogre could probably want to hit KO practically everything, as long as it hits. So, I have no idea, honestly. I can't. <laughs> People would not think that this is randomized. <laughs> uh, God, God, God damn it. Cascoon. So... The one problem with this is I'm just going to have to throw a Pokeballs at it. Because if not, I'll end up KOing it, unfortunately. Yep. Hold on, what? Cascoon with a horn attack. I was wondering why the game gave you such a such a powerful start Pokemon. Um, it's because it's randomized, so everything it's basically everything is randomized. Um, I could if I wanted to, I could not include legendaries, but legendaries give it that little bit of a uh, what do you call it? They give it that bit of a. A fun aspect to it. I guess the fact that you could try or you, you could you could come across a a legendary or you could come across a legendary from another trainer uh, from another trainer and possibly verse another legendary Pokemon. Um in my case you could come across about five or six legendaries that are um that are wild yeah, that are wild in the space in the space in the number of 11 attempts uh but every nearly every trainer has a legendary uh hold on a second let me just note that one down 
because I'm trying to, I'm just trying to keep a log of everything so I don't lose where I am. Um yeah, so we don't lose where we are when we come back to it, basically. Uh Pokeballs. I'll buy twelve of those, screw it. And then we'll buy three potions. So we've got four potions. We shouldn't Whoa. Hold on a second. Yeah, we need to heal. We shouldn't really need to... Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, we don't, we don't really need to... Um, what do you call it? I uh, actually don't know. I always want to say we don't really have to worry about... Fuck. I was going to say we don't have to worry about um, potions, but uh, yeah, we might have to. And that chaos that one. Okay, so this run is going to be very difficult. Very difficult, since we can't even. We can't even catch any Pokemon, apparently. Just trying to keep, uh, just trying to skip dialogue as well, just to make it a little bit quicker. Um, I've also seen a, uh, I forgot what you call it. Um, I've also seen a. Um, Uh, I forgot what it's called. I've seen... I've seen like a challenge type thing of Emerald where every... So every door you go through takes you to somewhere different. I forgot the name of it, but... It's a, yeah, it takes you to somewhere different. So and so it's basically like a memory game. You have to you have to remember where everything is. You have to remember where um You have to remember where certain things are like Pokemon centers, Pokemon markets. Luckily, it's not a Nuzlocke. I mean, if somebody didn't, did Nuzlocke it, that'd be very hard to do. Very, very, very difficult to do. Because you could also get... Um, I forgot what it's called. You can get stuck in a one-way teleport. So you have no you have no choice but to verse somebody. And it could be uh, an endgame area that you might be stuck in. So... Yeah, it's it's uh quite uh it's quite bad, quite interesting actually at the same time. But what's quite so what what is quite interesting is if you remember the Pokemon, the, the Elite Four and the Champion to, say, Emerald. Because the, the version that I saw it on was Emerald. It, um... Let's just say that they've all got doors at the, uh, the back of their... The back, the back of the, each of their rooms to go to the next one and um, so those are random as well so what you have to do is you have to remember where each door leads you to because the video that I saw somebody playing this I don't know what it was called I don't know if it was a mod or what 
or if it was a mod or a, a mod a rom hack or anything like that i think it was a rom hack but i'm not quite sure what it was uh i think it's just a different version of the game um well not different version of the game but different yeah i i don't know what you'd call it actually but um so the one that i watched he went into the starting town where the the first pokemon center and the first poke market is the one where that we're close to or that we've just been to i mean um he went into a i think he went into the pokemon market a pokemon yeah he went into the pokemon market and ended up in a pokemon center was it a pokemon center yeah he ended up in a pokemon center in i think it was the Everground city which is the city just well it's the pokemon um the pokemon center just before the elite four and the champion so uh, that's what i mean by you get you get mixed up so to speak um oops yeah you you get mixed up i guess that kind of thing um okay you get sent to you get to bleh, i can't even speak you um you get sent to different areas of the uh of the map or of the game a lunaton it's a shame i can't catch it skip that so then what we can do is skip this okay i did that twice by accident uh okay we can't buy anything but then what we'll do then is we'll quickly skip whoop, quickly go through this again skip all this oh wow he's got a blaze gun <laughs> okay and he caught a shuckle right, fair enough Let's have a look. See what Pokemon this is. Hitmonlee. Okay. Got a problem. I can't weaken the, the Pokemon. I will uh I will unfortunately kill it. And I don't think we will be able to cash it with a Pokeball. Because it needs weakening first. Uh, I know for a fact this rune isn't going to last long, I'll be honest. Because all I have to do is Hydro Pump and it will KO it. Because I can't weaken it. Yeah, I knew it. Uh, Unless I can somehow get... What, what have I done? Oh. Huh? Hold on. I could pause this game? That is weird. I can actually pause it. That's... Huh? That is very strange. There we go. Last ball with that. And... Whoa. With a shoe, you've got a sunken speed through that one so i think what i might start doing actually is i must i might start nope i might start going through like speeding through some certain battles just to make it quicker and easier and less of a grind like this ninja ask speed through that oh a porygon oh I kind of like that sprite, actually. It's a pretty cool-looking sprite. Crobat. That was uh, my favourite shadow mail. It was my... Oh, just realised. This is... Why is everything weak to water? I've just realised. 
because this is actually our encounter. So, probably not going to be able to cash it, but, no. Nope. Graveler Nose Bone Club. Hydro Cannon? Um, there we go. I think the only way we could probably catch a Pokemon would be if we just sit and spammed Pokeballs. Ooh, Venomoth. One of my favorite Pokemon. Or we could get a... Yeah, that would work, actually. We could get a... Um... We could get a uh, a great ball. Okay, so we have sacred ash. That would be quite helpful. We have a citrus berry. And what is the next one? Nope. Oh, shift dry. Oh, and I can only use shovel. Twisted spoon. See, a twisted spoon would be useful if we had a psychic type, but unfortunately we do not. This makes things a lot easier. <laughs> this makes things a lot quicker, to be quite honest. Alright. Plus, when I'm trying to... What? Whoops. When I'm trying to... Basically play catch-up, I guess we want to call it that. Because the furthest we've got, so... Is... Wow, we could have got a Razor Rock, if possible. Um, I'm basically just trying to play Casio because we, we ended up, um, we ended up at Flannery twice and we've not managed to get back there since. So, also if people are wondering why those two didn't challenge me, it's because I only had one Pokemon. Okay, so... Blacking. Uh, which one's the most powerful, more powerful one? I want to say Hydro Bomb, but I think it's Hydro Cannon. Fuck. Oh, uh, god damn it. I was hoping to try and catch the Slacking, to be quite honest. It would have been, uh... It would have been a very good... Um, oh, Grumpy. Yeah, it would have been a very good, uh, what do you call it? Very good tank, so to speak. Oh, we learned water bulls. Nice. Let's just get through all these eventually. Even water pulse is actually really, uh, really effective. It was a dual battle. Yep. Yeah, because you've only got one Pokemon. 
they don't challenge you, basically. Oh, Espion. What am I? It's actually Espion's my favorite uh, evolution. Thought of oil, waterfalls, skip all this. Da -da 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 -da. Done. Let's pick up this item. Red flute. I never use the flutes, to be honest. Do a lot, and then I keep using. I keep forgetting to use the. I can't even speak. I keep forgetting to use the. Uh, oh, what do you call them? The the runny shoes. That's the one. There's no way I can go through this entire gym with one Pokemon. Hold on. What's my Pokemon at? 61 out of 63. So let's see if I can beat this entire gym with one Pokemon. Rosalia. Hmm. How ironic. A grass type. I really just realized big boys actually a little Okay, so that's one down. That's two down. So we just beat the entire the entire gym with one Pokemon. We'll skip all this. Hello Space Monkey, thank you for the look. Hello, 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 how are you? I hope y'all were doing well. Uh, okay, so we... Oh. Let's just speed through all this. Da -da 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 -da. Done. There we go. Ooh, oh. Huh? Oh, that's your remote. That's cool. And oh, always said Bidoof. <laughs> that's actually that that's actually quite funny. <laughs> Um, but yeah, thank you. Um, Hansa. Hansa is our Rustboro. Is it Rustboro? Rustboro. Um, but. I need to try and catch this. We need a second. We need at least a second Pokemon. Lick. I mean, that would. I mean, Hansa. I think that's I, I think that's Haunter's iconic move technically. Especially from the anime at least. Grush. I don't think I've ever seen that uh, that move before actually. No. I managed to catch a Haunter in a Premier Ball. What the hell is that? <laughs> what is that? What? So what do we nickname Haunter? What do we nickname Haunter? I was thinking... I don't know, actually. I don't know what I was thinking. I mean, we could nickname it something like Hans or something. I don't know. Does anybody <clears throat> does anybody have any uh, any ideas? Hmm. I mean. Hmm. I have a, I do exact. Hmm, I don't know actually. I kind of have an idea for a, for a, for a name, but I don't at the same time. I was going to call it Trickster, since that is pretty much all it does within the. Uh, whoops, wait. 
Wait, this was it. No, not that one. That one. So that, that. Uh, yeah, true. Call it trickster. Just hold on a second. What was that? What we ended up getting? What lake? Where we bury? Or was it, some, or was it something else? I've no clue. Not a ghost Pokemon fan. Ah, uh, oh, it's a Max Elixir. Fair enough. Understandable. I mean, my mm, my favorite Pokemon is a Ghost type, which is Gengar. But and again, my second favorite is uh, is a Psychic type. So the total op the total opposite, I guess. Um, hold on, a Ghost type move that. Haunter can't learn, which is wrong because normally Haunter can learn Lick, but Big Boy can learn Lick, which is a bit strange. Uh, summary Ghost Poison, not hit by ground type, the ground attacks. Uh, Grudge, shut up. Shut up. Inflicts one fourth. One quarter, I get it. Yeah, one quarter on sleeping for every turn. Hmm. The use of feints deletes all PP of foe's last move. Hmm. Okay. That... That could probably seem useful if I have no choice but to use it in the first place. But then again, I could probably use it and then... Hmm... I couldn't teach it Lick, but then it learned Lick. What? Let's just da -da 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 there we go. That makes no sense. So Trickster learnt Lick but couldn't learn it in the first place. May also paralyze. I I think I remember that from the actual anime. Um the fact that Haunter if I remember correctly, a Haunter licked Ash. And it, uh, it licked Ash and paralyzed him. Or was it somebody else? Or was it, or was it Pikachu actually? Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll have to go through all this again. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. Go through that. We can speed this up. And then da -da 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 -da. Oh. speed that up. Maybe needed experience. Yeah, true. I mean what I'm confused about is the so normally Certain Pokemon can learn TMs. Um, but what I'm just surprised at is the fact that I knew that Haunter could learn the move Lick, but I didn't know it can't learn it from a TM. I think, if I remember correctly, I think it's the fact that it's a, it's a, it, what's it called? It's a move that requires levels or a certain level to learn it. I think that might be why. Um, but 
I am going to end it there for today's stream. It's been a bit of a longer one than usual, which I'm glad. I'm hoping to try and stream for a little bit longer. Not each time, but I'm hoping to uh, stream for longer periods of time, as I used to. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you all for watching. It is much appreciated. We are going to raid out, so give me two seconds. Let me just uh, do that. Do that. Let me just uh, do that. <laughs> uh, uh, we'll, we'll 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 see who we can raid. I have somebody in mind. Um. Yeah, I I do have somebody in mind. Um. They are currently playing. They're com currently playing Valorant. Okay. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> uh, thank thanks for the fun stream. Thank you for, yeah, thank you for popping in and thank you for lurking, chilling, chatting. Thank you for being here. This is much appreciated. But we are going to raid Max Moneybags. Um, please do go show some love. They are currently playing Valorant. Um, I know they've not streamed for a while, and uh, they came back. I think they came back to streaming yesterday. So, yeah, uh, I will be live again for tomorrow. I will be live again tomorrow. I mean, um, I what I am conflicted with at the moment is I am tempted to. I'm tempted to mix up the Nuzlocke with maybe another two, another one or two games just to keep just to keep things a little bit different, mainly because I don't want to run into walls or hypothetical walls, I guess you want to call it, with a lot, or burnout even. Uh, so I don't know. I'm I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about streaming different games or playing different games on stream. Uh, I'm just not entirely too sure at the moment. I'll have to thing can go through that uh but yeah good luck take care have fun and goodbye